human dinosaurs! Yes, this is Lafa and so we're back for another episode of Dino Punk! Yes, we are back for another dinosaur cyberpunk adventure, and yes, I've been having a great day today. Today has been a very productive day for Lofo. Uh, he has been getting zero minutes and hours of rest, which is, which might sound like a bad thing, but no, it means that Lofo is being very productive. So, uh, yeah, we I finished editing three videos today. Imagine that, three videos in one day. It's crazy, man. <laughs> so, uh, today, uh, yeah, we are going to be playing uh, Dino Punk, and hopefully, we will be able to uh finish the game or. Whatever happens, we might see some fun stuff here. <laughs> the, I don't actually remember exactly what a, 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 a lot about this game, except for the fact that you could apparently like flirt with the Drake Rex, and I felt like that was pretty sus considering Drake Rexes were supposed to be baby pachycephalosaurs. <laughs> so I don't know. The dinosaur dino polite police might get to me, so I'll, I probably won't be doing that this time. Uh, so I uh, time to collect my thoughts. Okay. Uh, Right, let's see what I'm gonna be, be doing today. Right, I arrived some conclusions concerning what happened to her. Who her? The Drake Rex? I don't even remember. Right, okay, also, Luffa, let's put that... Let's put your ugly face up there. Because no one wants the text box blurred out by your stupid avatar. Because that, no one gives a crap, right? Uh, right. Okay, yeah, fling the ball. I keep forgetting this. Right, <laughs> my thoughts are during the day led me to conclude... What had happened is not my fault. Yes, great. Uh, yes, okay, fling the ball. <laughs> Keep forgetting that to fling the ball. Right, all I ever did, I did for her. Okay, yes, yes, fling it. Uh, and I did the right thing. She did not appreciate it. I might have more, more thought on the subject in the days to come. Oop. The news tell me what the, when the rain might stop. Let's see, we'll see about that news. Forecast predicts heavy rain. Ready your umbrellas. I wonder how dinosaurs would wear umbrellas. According to the latest forecast, the rainfall may grow strong stronger and last much longer than it was or originally expected. Citizens are advised to exercise caution due to the increased risk of traffic accidents and yada 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 yada. You can pause the video and read it yourself. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh... Who wrote this obscene word? Modern linguistics. Let's see, what about the shop? So we have $127. Shop nail, beach design set. What is that? Oh, that's just for stickers, right? Yeah, I still rem remember that. You could do that in that game. Forum. Okay, let's see. So perpetual hamster. We need that for $80, right? So the news time machine piece is out soon. Tomorrow's the last sales day. Right, so we have $172. So, I, I feel like we might be able to buy something. Hmm, holographic sign. Uh, cleaning ser services? What is that? We'll scrub everything clean. Uh, functional ventilation system. Ooh, okay. I mean, it's $20. I could probably do that. Right. Let's get some ventilation going on. For our poor theropod lungs. Right. Hello! There we go. <laughs> I mean, they do say that theropods and dinosaurs in general had much more developed lungs than human beings. But still, I wouldn't really count on having a bad air filtration. That might lead to bad sales. Right, the fan spins, everyone wins. Okay, let's see what else we have. Hmm, Dino Boss, what is that? Okay, that's the for the cloud. Let's see what I can do house. Uh, David Dowie poster, basketball poster. Hotline Hawaii poster. As a fan of Hotline Hawaii. Uh, Pinup poster. Retrowave poster. Hmm. You know what? I feel like I deserve myself a big... I, I, I feel like I deserve myself a very expensive bed. Right. Why should I not do this? Right. I deserve a big bed. The last thing I want is to sleep on the floor in a mattress. You know, as they say, if you if you sleep like a king, your day will rock like a king. I made that up, by the way. Right, credit me every time. <laughs> Let's try the massage function. Oh yeah, all my stress is gone. Right. Ooh, we also have a lava lamp. Although we actually can't put it on top of the bed. Right. Let's go to bed.
Okay, look for and activate points uh, with your mouse cursor. The cursor will glow and position the inspector point. Yeah, we, we've done that already, right? Time to dream. Ooh, to get you. It will burn me. Help! <laughs> Follow the light. I'm here! Chris, my savior! I would have been lost without you. So, oh yeah, that was the, like the scene with the girl and the, and the jellyfish, right? I remember that. My strong paws will save you from this fearly monster! The dinosaurs have paws? I always thought they'd have paws. Hey, it rhymes! I'm a natural born rapper. You could call me that I'm I'm a raptor. No, I'm not a raptor. You're a theropod. Oh, stupid. <laughs> uh, see. I will paint your portrait and make your paws look mighty. It'll be my best painting at the exhibition. Oh, okay. Damn. Okay. I thought it was. I thought the whole point of this dream is. From a real, if, if, from a fantasy, it would slowly turn to realism. But no, then you just have a giant Godzilla thing. So, I don't know what this, what these dreams are about, honestly. <laughs> okay, day ten. Okay, we have seventy-two dollars and one time machine part. The rain is getting heavier. I wish I had an umbrella! I'm gonna get drenched now. Well then, Lofo, you should've thought twice before buying that super luxury bed. <laughs> My dreams are telling me that I chose the right strategy with her. She was vulnerable and sensitive as an artist out to be. I don't know, I feel like that's... That's kind of shitting on every other artist in the world. <laughs> she needed protection from life's trials. To return the favor, she painted my portraits. And in those portraits, I had mighty paws! The days of my part are short and lonely. It's up to me to bring everything back. Time to get to work. Okay. So bloody cold outside. Feels like I'm soaked. I hope I don't catch a cold. Right. Let's see. Let me drink an energy drink. That'll always get myself going. Perfect. This should protect me from catching a cold, right? Eh, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> or having a big dinosaur immune system. Okay, uh, the Rockstar dinosaur's there. Uh, hey, Sid Headbanger! Hey, Rockstar! Yeah, dude! Okay, let's see. Can you see the first protesters out of your window? This is just the beginning of major changes in the city! Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that! I thought those were just carrying signs for some reason. Right. A crowd gathered in the main square today. They demanded that the brass follow through with the AI government experiment. Oh. I mean, I'm all for peace! <laughs> Ooh, touch feely. Okay. Are you saying these outcries won't do any good? Drastic action never ends well. It's much better to act with caution. Indeed. And love, bro. That's the truth. Oh, hello. Uh, hello, Drake Rex. What's up, guys? Hello. I happened to be passing by and thought I'd say hi. Hi there. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, didn't the Drake Rex say that he she really likes this rock star? Oh my gosh, she said hi. He said hi to me. Wow. Good for you. Intrigued. Okay. Hey, hello. How's it going, beautiful? He asked me how it's go. I was going. I can't even speak. But I think that's just me though. <laughs> no problem on the game. Right. Hey, it's going one day at a time. Trix, wasn't there a reason that you came in? Does your TV need fixing? Uh, yeah, I meant to fix a TV, but my roomies were against me breaking it. You wanted to break a TV? You're a firecracker girl. I'm just like that. Hey, Super Techie, I got a mission for you. He calls you Super Techie. Can you fix this floating art? It's supposed to light up during the show, but something's not working. 
All right, let's see what we can do about this. A floating hut. How the hell does this thing even work? Right. Yeah, the hut has to blaze, just like the one in my chest. This is so romantic. Right. Can you make it blaze, please? All right, let's see. <laughs> and that's all they can do to help me. Right. Seems like the rest is up to me. All right. 3D cavern printer, how's it going? It's pouring outside. I can hear the rain. Damn, you can hear? Right, uh, yeah, it is. True. Sucks. I must have caught the cold in the rain. Oh, silly you. See how machines are superior to your weak species. Well, unlike you, I can go to a walk. <laughs> Never needed it. Really? I'm fine. You're not being honest. What's that? Another power outage? Seems like the protest has damaged the power station. God damn it, those stupid lizards. <laughs> it's worse than last time. All my electrical diagrams are cutting microchips are toast. Is this the end? Not yet. I can power up the microchips with my own mechanisms. Careful to avoid collisions with them. Right. When I'm done fixing it, I'll have to think of a design from the heart. Design I choose will shift su sh sit mood accordingly. The direction I consistently take will determine the kind of concert he'll, per he'll perform. He'll also give me a track that matches his mood. Oh, okay. That's pretty neat. Extra music is always nice. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, how would I do this again? Uh... I, 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 I kind of forgot. <laughs> uh, uh, burning heart required. Uh... There's... There's something? Um, hmm. Burning? Heating. Maybe. Okay, avoid collisions with the me mechanisms. Okay. Uh, what does that mean? Wait, wait whoa, what? The lower the collisions? Uh, what? Uh, oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. I see, okay. Oh, shit, okay. Terrible, that's terrible, that's terrible. Okay. That's even worse. <laughs> I think that kind of sucks. Right. 87%? Oh, wow. Not bad, I, I suppose. Okay. Boop. And I don't know. I, I, I'm just going to slap it in the middle. I mean, it's probably going to work, right? <laughs> I have no idea. Right. And now we have to ruin this perfectly beautiful heart with our sh weird artist shenanigans. <laughs> right. Let me draw you a good Kamarasaurus. No. Is there a dinosaur that symbolizes love? I don't think so. Maybe the Sauralophus like, because of Dinosaur King? But yeah, I decided to draw Kamarasaurus because I don't know. We're just gonna draw Kamarasaurus, right? Sometimes a man just wants to draw a Kamarasaurus on a burning mechanical heart, right? Hello, Utz. Hope your day's been going fine. My day's been going fine. Hopefully your day is just going fine as much as yours, much as mine. Yes. Right. I don't know why I keep freaking up my English nowadays. It's because I haven't been streaming for ne uh, for a while. There you go. Right, love is so stored in the sauropod. Indeed. Right, now we gotta put some stickers on it. Right. <laughs> Give it a kitty hat. <laughs> and let's let's have it stand on a car. And let's see. Get a guitar. You can you can hold the guitar with your tail. It's a magical sauropod. Right. <laughs> There you go. It's an A+. Plus. Yes. <laughs> Woohoo. Right, let's see. I, I Hopefully, he'll be able to appreciate this shitty Kamarasaurus drawing. That is a cat for her face. And that is, 
that is standing on a fire truck with a guitar in his tail. <laughs> this hot blazes just like yours. Right, evaluation. Right. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's blazing all right. I can feel the heat. You outdid yourself. I guess. Yeah, I've known Chris for a long time and he's really great. Concerning the quality repairs, you're on fire. This is quality work. Oh, really? Okay, thank you. Woof! Yes, give me money! Alright. Beautiful. I can see that you've put your soul into the design. I appreciated it. Well, not soul, more like sauropod, but yeah. <laughs> Everything about this hut says love. Nice. Romantic. It made me think of my ro most dramatic relationship. My girlfriend used to decorate my stuff. Tell me more about her. We were very different. She went to the art school and studied classical music. I, on the other hand, have always been a rebel. You're a handsome couple. But highly volatile, baby. My soul blazes. Achoo! Wait. Sorry. Oh, it's just a dinosaur flu, okay? R you're ruining a romantic moment. All right, shut up, you... Not even adult yet, Dracorex. Right, it's 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 a cold, okay? I can't help it. <laughs> so my soul blazes when I think about her, because love is a sauropod. <laughs> you really got me, baby. You know what? A chew. Excuse me, I've caught a cold. Um, so my heart beats in agony when I think back to our relationship. It must have been a very beautiful love story. If you want a good match, don't cry over it. Yep. Always keep it in the middle, that's what I realized. Right, exactly! Well, there's fine our eyes, we can make any dream a reality. You think I should dust off my dream, Sid? What is your dream? It's a silly one, I guess. I want to become a neurobiologist. A neuro what? Does this have something to do with nerves? Not exactly, it's about studying the brain. Isn't that just about the nerves? <laughs> Isn't just the brain a, ch a chunk of nerves? Right, I don't know, it maybe, I don't know. I, I suck at biology. <laughs> It's about studying the brain, the interconnection of neurons in your head, and the way this intricate wiring runs your body. It's about studying the brain and the way this intricate wiring runs your body. Oh, well. I mean, it's really cool. Studying nerves. Nerves are the strings of the soul. Go for it. Nice. Agreeable. Thanks. Love strife. Tell me, universe. What do I choose? Uh... Love? Strife? Strife in the name of love and love in the name of strife. Name of strife. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> uh, uh, strife, yes. You always should strive to be better. No, isn't that spelled with a V in, instead of an F though? <laughs> yes, I was born to fight for freedom and truth. No matter what it takes. You ignited a fire in my soul, buddy. Let me share our most hard driving soul with you. Song with you. Why, why do I keep saying soul? Right. <laughs> I'll play it to feel the energy. Okay. This? Is it this? Uh, I, I don't know. I have so many songs. Which one did you give me? <laughs> oh, this one? There we go. Great changes are coming to the city. I can feel it. We'll make history with our show. We're like prehistory, am I right? <laughs> uh, so we need to set up properly. I'm off to rehearsal. Fun bright, guys. Right, let's let's turn back to lo-fi. I prefer lo-fi. Right. Chris! <laughs> Chris! It was amazing! My hands are shaking! Can you pour me a soothing drink? Hmm. Here, I'll give you this. I'll give you a tea. Uh, or was this the energy drink, or was this the energy drink? I don't know. I'll give you that. Right, take this. Okay, I feel like I made her too agreeable. Right, just what I needed. Can I say you're a bit until I calm down? Be my guest. 
Okay, oh, it's you, you sign Steino. Right. Greetings, engineers. Oh, hi, Trix, you're here. Yeah, my dream, my dream just came through right in this workshop. Oh, really? That's nice. Our dreams drive innovation. Tell me all about it. First, I have business to attend to. Right, are you ready to create a message for our ape friends, Chris? Sure. This is the drawing slate. You can draw a message on it. Remember, I want to encourage your evolution with images of wealth. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see what we can do. Can we drop the villainy, please? I fear, I fear the consequences. Don't fret, he's just kidding. Well, okay. While Chris is busy making a design, tell me what dreams of yours have come true. Right, let's see. Wealth. Wealth. So you're the master of apes' minds. Wouldn't it be a good idea to upgrade your own first? <laughs> Tell me about Project Horror. Are you kidding me? Did I put a sticky note on my screen to remind you that I shall not speak about it? I'll make you talk one day. Right, be my guest. Right, so they, they talked something about wealth, right? So I, th I think I know exactly what we're going to go for. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think you guys already know what I'm going to go for. Right. You know, they said a, a message about wealth. You know, what what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of wealth? That's right. It's 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 Mr. Uh, Brachyceratops. <laughs> the dinosaur equivalent of Mr. Beast. <laughs> Gives out money to all dinosaurs uh, in Gondwana. Right. This kind of looks like a Triceratops, not a Brachyceratops, so... There we go. I'll, 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 I'll smoothen the horns up a bit. That way, it'll look more like a Brachyceratops, right? <laughs> right, how, I wonder, how does the Mr. Beast logo look like? <laughs> right, let's see. Mr. Beast, how does it look like? Oh, it's, it's. I thought it was... Yeah, it is blue. Right, there we go. Let's make it red. Right. There you go. It's, it's Mr. Brachyceratops. Right. There you go. And I'll, I'll give you extra dollar signs on the, si on the side. I, I, I don't think this is the currency that dinosaurs use. But... I don't know. Right. <laughs> we'll go with this. Right. Uh, Done. Right. But we also need stickers that mean wealth. I don't think we have stickers that actually mean wealth. Do we? Uh, I mean, I guess muscles. I mean, they do say, they do say that health is wealth. Right. And, you know, a potato, a happy potato. Right. <laughs> the, I, I'm gonna give him the, 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 the brain, the money of Mr. Beast, the strength of whatever the hell the arms this dinosaur belongs to, and the resilience of a potato. These monkeys are going to be evolved into super hyper monkeys. <laughs> Right, for me, it would have been, like, me meeting Deerwin. What is Deerwin? Is it like, is it like a Megalosaurus Deerwin? <laughs> Darwin? He came up with the evolution theory of our species. Oh, dear. Right, that's right. Now I remember the biology lessons at school. There was a time I wanted to become a scientist too, a neurobiologist. So silly to even think about it. Ladies, I give to you message for the apes. <laughs> Let's see. This one doesn't strike me as an image of luxury. Oh, really? <laughs> Friggin' Mr. Beast wasn't enough? <laughs> I'm sorry, I never lived a life of luxury. I have no idea what's supposed to look like. <laughs> I can relate. Well, I'll give you some money for trying. Let's see. Ten bucks? <laughs> Talk about underpaying artists, bruh. <laughs> Listen, Trix, have you ever tried making the first move in? How do I say? Really getting to know someone. I'm always making it. Could you, you know, teach me? No problem. Let's go for a walk and I'll teach you how it's done properly. You know, what will be beautiful in this pouring weather? <laughs> Sounds great. Let's do it. Please watch out while I walk. I was almost hit by a car on the way here. But it's got to be important. It's marching bright red. <laughs> like a YouTube thumbnail, right? Uh, there are so many reckless drivers. 
these days, if you don't pay attention, you might get run over. So true if she didn't get into an accident that day. I couldn't save her, no matter how hard I tried. These thoughts again. I must chase them away this moment. It's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault! But fixed it! Yeah! Go away, stupid guilt! It's useless! It's- it's- what? It's- Past is in the past! <laughs> oh, you daydreaming again? Hey, are you alright? I just... Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> At least I stopped that train of thought. It could have been worse. I'm watching you. Alright, if you say that you're fine. Well, goodbye. Shall we go for a walk in chat, Sai? Yeah, let's go. Can I get a coffee? I mean, we have coffee right here. <laughs> no problem. Bye, Chris. Uh, goodbye, Drake Rex. Right. Watch out for grown-ups. <laughs> I got carried away from the real world into the world of anxiety. This is not the time to mope around. I'm getting closer and closer to my dream. These blasted races again. I should really get, all, get it off my mind. I did everything I could to make sure she was safe. I should, I should stop thinking about it. Possibly you overdid it? I might have missed just the situation. What do I make out of it now? Right. Right. Enough of the self flag. I did the right thing. Exactly. Right. If you chose a path, you stick to it. <laughs> I was right. End the story. Can't dwell on it anymore. Just want to forget it. Right. I mean, they say the T-Rex skulls were very thick, so... I I'm just being paleontologically accurate here. <laughs> I need a beverage to relax. Okay, you know what? The best beverage to relax would be an energy drink, although it doesn't actually work because the screen happened to just tilt it very conveniently to the side so I can't get access to my favorite energy drink. Well, hey again, I suppose. But to go upstairs. Oh, really? In the middle of workday? God, that's gonna hit your performance record. Jesus Christ, what an absolute failure. <laughs> My thoughts during the day lead me to conclude. During the day? That's it? I can relax a little. I don't think I did anything wrong in my relationship with her. An accident is an accident. Exactly. Exactly, T-Rex. And I chose the right strategy in our relationship. Exactly. She even wrote a poem about me. That's gonna be good, right? No one wrote ever a poem about me. Uh, Chris, your mighty paws are aiming high. Chris, without you, it's a sorry excuse for life. I, I will compose a poem in her honor too. Oh my god, are you are you shitting me? Right, the poem will go out like this. Uh, I don't know. I'll run after you, stretching out my claws. That's a strong line. What's next? And my time machine. Right, sounds very comfortable. She'll appreciate it. She's always been a lover of all things beautiful. Hmm. Do I hear a crowd yelling in the street? The protests seem to have gained momentum. I just hope they'll leave in my workshop alone. Would there be something in use concerning the protests? We'll see about that. Right, by the way, guys, didn't didn't I like change my uh phone screen? Yeah, I I'm pretty sure I did this. Or I did that not save? I think it might not have saved actually. Right. Uh, let's see. News. Police are val blindly meeting their arrest quotas. Right now, we're seeing a positive upward arrest trend, meaning the clean city is being swept clean of criminal elements. Right, that's great. Guess a bunch of them are probably going to be protesters, because the last thing we need is Cretaceous cop crimes. <laughs> right, what now? Uh, news? More news? We read that. We read that. We read that. We, read, we did read that. I didn't notice any reduction in crime. Just yesterday, just got one more stolen in the street. Hmm. Right. Well, I'm pretty sure we read that. We did just that. That was just the one. I'm pretty sure I did everything. Oh wait. Oh, that that is it. No. Right. There's no way that was it. That, that was such a short day, though. Oh, wait, hold up. I'm supposed to buy that, right? There's a thing we have to buy. Yes. 
We have to buy the perpetual hamster. This genetically modified hamster can power the entire house. Hell yeah! That was a great investment. Bio-modified animal cruelty. Exactly what we needed in our cyberpunk dystopian science world of dinosaurs. Hey, at least even if I don't get to make a time machine, that, that thing is going to reduce my electricity bill. <laughs> right. There we go, hamster. It's mine. So this power hamster generates power for the time machine? That's hilarious. Every day at work, I run around in circles like this hamster. Get ready, Chris, for the next two days, a new pot will go on sale every day. Tomorrow you can buy a pot, a pot for $40. Okay. All right, let's see what else we can buy with the shop. Uh, all right, let's actually try to get some stickers, right? Yeah, this is the stickers that we need. Oh, we can. We don't have, have enough money, right? Oh. What is this? It's just junk, right? Yeah, I, I thought I could knock the hamster over with the ball. I don't know. But, well, let's go to bed. <laughs> Alright, time for another dream sequence. Let's see what we're gonna find, ne find next. Last time it was a giant jellyfish. Next time it was a Mecha Godzilla. I don't know what is this time. Right. Let's see. It could be anything. It could be Spinophorus. For all we know. Hello. Okay. And by the way, guys. Did you know that today is actually the 11th anniversary of Spinophorus? So... Yeah, that's some amazing stuff. Ah! No! This should not have happened! I was running! I should have made it! I'm not capable of protecting her from anything! Well, well, well. Seems like someone is being a failure. I always did it for her. You never learn to do it. Oh. <laughs> well, off she goes. Day 11. The so next time we have to buy it for $40, so... Let's see. We'll just have to earn $8 today. That's all we need. That day, her friends invited her to go hiking in the mountains. The trek was supposed to be difficult. She really wanted to go and draw, drew, and draw a mountainscape from nature. I didn't let her go. I was to worry for her. Because she was the last T-Rex girl on the planet. That day, we had a terrible fight. She left, banging the door, door behind her. And that night, she was hit by a car. God damn it. Well, if it was for not... If, if, if not for that one time, everything would have been just fine. But right, we're just gonna be- we're just gonna be a thick skull the T-Rex all the way through. The culprit- real culprit is that damn car! What shall I say to her when we meet again in the past? Alright, let's just start over. Yeah, exactly. Isn't that what you do when you take time machines? Oh, have I lost my mind? Why did I come out in the rain again? Wasn't the catching a cold yesterday bad enough? Back to the shop! Right now! Oof! Damn, I don't have time to be ill. Soon I'll be able to build my time machine. Keep those repairs happening. I'll drink tea to get better. Little did Lofo know, he was drinking an energy drink. <laughs> this is not tea, but it might help. Shoo! This is not pretty. Ah, uh, hello, Triceracop. Right, uh, hello, janitor. Shoo! Your engine's cuffing? A little bit. That weirdo with a mohawk dropped by at all. It probably meant means Justin. Uh, who is Justin again? Uh, do you have a crush on him? 
<laughs> I'll shove your stupid jokes down your... Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I've got a favor to ask. It's very important. My navigation system broke at the worst possible moment. I got a bike race today. Okay, then. Let's try to figure, fix her. Achoo! Bless you. Thanks. Uh, Achoo! <laughs> you look quite sick. Oh, a cup of two of tea will set me alright. Is this how you treat your cold? No wonder T-Rex is wedding stinked. <laughs> uh, do I look stupid? Well, no, but you can never tell. I'm telling you that I did upload the Yari map into the navigator. I have no idea. Check it. Right, really easy. All you have to do is just check it, all right? This kind of knowledge might come in handy for you, too. You might be right, janitor. This tiny light should be blinking, and, if, and it's not. Therefore, it, there's no connection. It's not, it's not easy? I'm paying you for doing almost nothing? If that's easy, I'm just gonna pay you less. <laughs> just kidding. Thanks a bunch. This was really useful. Right. Well, well, well. If you're gonna pay me enough, I'm just gonna... Go ahead and start hacking it. <laughs> Let's see. I like messing around with the trike. The trike is just really fun to mess around with. <laughs> Don't sneeze in my direction. I was actually taking aim. Don't just short circuit me with your snot. Well, well, well. Let's see what we can do. So... Uh, they do not receive the satellite signal. So we just need this. Okay. Oh, it's this shit again? Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this. Right. There we go. That one was a nice cut right there. Right, a hundred percent. Give or take. Boop. And... I think you have to put it here. No, oh yeah, I have to put it here, right. Alright. Yes! Okay, thank god I don't have to use stickers here. <laughs> I don't know why that they, why, why that stickers exist. <laughs> Stars above will guide your way when you drift on bikes today. Is this Shakespeare? This is my poetry. Huh. You're talented. <laughs> oh really? Maybe I should be taking... Taking those that fiction writing test that that Velociraptor took. <laughs> it stopped displaying my location. That's funny. Your shop is not on the city map. And repair business will soon become illegal, so I decided not to register it on the city maps. To cover my tracks, so to say. That was smart. You did a very good job on the navigation system. I don't mind paying you a little extra. Alright, let's go. $40! Damn. They weren't kidding when they say cyberpunk cops earn a lot of money. Do I remember correctly that you have a knack for pissing others off? Why? I need to resort to your pissing off skills. I'm taking part in a race today, but I don't feel the drive. I'm really chill, but it's not my style. For the best results, I need the fighting spirit. Could you piss me off? Oh, wow. I guess she's also a masochist. Well, I'll even pay you to... <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, uh, sounds like a dream job. Here we go. Well, infuriate this. Right. And, like, now I don't want to do it. Let me pour you something. Right. Let's pour you, uh, the trikes don't like tea, right? If I remember correctly. Yes. Right, this is the worst ring in the world. I hate it. Good job. Keep it up. Right, uh, you can't win the race. You're too slow. <laughs> Infuriated. There we go. What did you just say? You pissed me off. I'll punch you in the face. You piss me off. I'll uh, keep going. <laughs> Your affection for puppies is just stupid. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> I swear I'm gonna hit you. Please go on. Don't hold back. Uh, you're on top. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel like that's 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 a bit over the top. Let's do it. <laughs> what? Your mind part, not your real parents. It's supposed to sound offensive. Are you dumb? I know perfectly well that I'm not adopted. You're not really good at this. I'm fired up. Here's my gratitude. Charge with my rage. 
Ten dollars. Thank you. Right. I'm gonna rip them in the racetrack. I'm ragefully grateful. You're ragefully welcome. That was a weird ass dinosaur. <laughs> Occasionally I enjoy it. Right. Hello, it's you again. Right, what do you think about the protests? Uh, it's crazy. Definitely in this rain too? Really? I've been thinking if I perform a romantic concert, it might turn everyone's attention to a different side of life. Love. It's not easy though, and one could feel ma make fatal errors along the way. Fatal errors. Are they intentionally hitting at the accident that killed her? Oh, come on! At this point, you're just being schizophrenic. But I'm disgusting. Well, they got one thing, right? <laughs> Everyone's trying to hit a nerve. You meant the world for me. I mean, you, it's, I don't think you had a choice, technically speaking. <laughs> Yay! I managed to get a hold of myself fast enough. Can I ask for a personal question? I'm a poet, so no question is personal. I open up to millions of listeners every day. Don't be shy. What can you say about fatal errors of the past? They are perfect source of inspiration for new songs, dude. Also, everything's an experience. Can't live without making mistakes. But some mistakes, you can only make once. <laughs> it is. Ride the train into the future. Life's too short to be modern regret. To move forward, I need you to do me another favor. Do your magic. Right, let's see. I'm sure of it. Fix this effects pedal for my guitar. Something burnt out inside. This is a discontinued metal. So I don't know where to look for a replacement part. I'll try to find something suitable. Well, well, well. Isn't that just, just me with, with my mouse? I had a... I, in fact, the mouse I'm using to right now is a mouse that I first got when I was... When I bought my PC. And this mouse has just been so comfortable, but turns out this mouse is discontinued. So I've been just using this old ass mouse every, ever since. All uh, right, let's see. Where can I find spare parts? You can't. Does this mean I won't be able to fix it? It does. You could have looked for parts like these in the store ahead of time. Look, I can't fix your pedal. I don't have the spare parts. Oh, this sucks. This pedal is what makes the band sound unique. Uh, I'm really sorry. Let me compensate you? Absolute not. <laughs> well, I suppose. Hey, Nitwit, come here. Hang on, sit. Just a minute. Right, who's it now? I have decided to have mercy on you, wretched soul. The old man had a pedal exactly like this one. But how? He was a huge fan of rock music, in case you didn't know. Haven't you put two and two together? He was a crazy old man. I'm starting to get the picture. Check out the spare parts in the bucket. You'll probably find what you're looking for. Thank you. You're welcome. The puzzle look on your face was priceless. <laughs> okay, well, 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 let's see. My controller just fell down. Right. My controller, I mean my phone. <laughs> right, let's see. Ooh, okay. Is it this part? Ooh, okay. Why? Ooh, there's so many of these. Right. Alright, we don't need you and you. Clap you, clap you. Yeah, that should do it. Oh, and, and then you're gonna ruin it with stickers. Of course you are gonna ruin it with stickers, right. Oh, wait. I think I accidentally glued this part to the pedal. Bruh. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> what? I can't, I can't get rid of this? Oh, that sucks! Why is that a feature? Right. Well, I have to, I have to draw something, so... There you go. I'll draw you a Spinosaurus. You know, you know what? I'll draw you a Spinosaurus. Right. It is his 11th birthday, after all. 
pig of a, a car on on that one part. Oh, it did. For some reason, it no clipped. Right. Uh, let me give you a cute cat sticker. <gasps> right. Wait. How the hell do these guys, do these dinosaurs, know what a cat is? That's kind of creepy. Bruh. I mean, yeah. It, it kind of happens. <laughs> hey, go and rock the crowd with your signature sound. <laughs> are you are you being sarcastic, Lofo? Right. Evaluation. Well, hopefully you don't mind getting an extra piece. You know, it's just, just spare parts. <laughs> I looked at the inner workings of the pedal and I can tell you that it won't work. You sure? <laughs> Are you trying to screw me? I know my musical hardware, dude. Sorry. Too bad. We'll have to think of something else for the show. Naturally, there will be no payment. God damn it. <laughs> hi, guys. I just happened to be in the neighborhood and stopped to say hi. And Sid is here. Wow, what a coincidence. What are you up to? <laughs> God damn it, now he's so pissed. <laughs> I didn't mean to piss him off. We tried to repair my effects pedal, but it didn't succeed. Will we cancel the concert? No way. We're going to rock it no matter what. Wow, you're awesome. By the way, I bought tickets to the show six months ago. Tomorrow, I'll be there. Uh, Have it romantic. Well, I guess he doesn't like it. Does he? Oh yeah, now he's no longer upset. Why not? It's going to be the most romantic concert in history. Well, he, he's surprisingly cool-headed for a rock guy. <laughs> oh my god, like, what the hell is up with her? her? Her emotions are from, like, all the way here? Like, all the way here in a single time. <laughs> Uh, I want. I can't wait to whip the whole crowd into a romantic frenzy. That sounds pretty sus. Right, you really got me going. Here's a romantic song as a thank you from the band. I feel like I'm going to cry when I play it. Well, you know what? Let's let's see what that is about. And tonight we're having a pre-show party. There'll be a swimming pool, pillars of fire, and diving off the balcony. Diving off the balcony again? Isn't that how your stage tech cracked this fed? It's a tradition, buddy. Are you sure? Are you Billy really okay? We live only once. I mean, yeah, that's... I, I mean, they say that, but... I mean, yeah, you do only live once. You, you really gotta make it, you know? <laughs> it's better than wasting the precious moments of life in this dismal idleness. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna run. See you at the show. See ya. Hey, Chris. Would you say I come on too strong with him? A little bit. Damn. I didn't make a fool of myself. And he saw it. He probably thought I'm really dumb. But. Do you think why I like Into the Basement song so much? Uh. Because the lead singer is so hot? He's definitely hot. <laughs> Even too hot. But it's not the only reason. Oh, really? I thought I thought looks are the only things that mattered. <laughs> By the way, that previous statement was a joke. Don't take it literally. Uh, their music is a catalyst for all my emotions. It really helps me to keep going. I doubt that the band will even realize what an important part they play in their lives with others. Yeah, I really wonder. It helps leave your errors behind and move forward. Mistake, mistake, of course. Right, schizophrenic Rex. What happens if I keep going, actually? Is it, like, they said something about, like, this being a timed event. Does it keep going? Oh, wait, it keeps going darker. What happens if I keep, if I make it super dark? Oh, okay. Just makes her upset. Now she's intrigued. Hey, I'm talking to you. Are you ignoring me? No, I just zoned out, I guess. Hmm, I'm not going to repeat what you missed. I'm not a talking parrot. Well, I mean, you are a talking Drake Rex. I think that's pretty close. Uh, do you think it's sufficient to leave your errors behind and keep moving forward? Oh, why not? Um, you're right, dwelling in the past is just bullshit. My point exactly. Although, when I talk to you, I keep thinking that perhaps I shouldn't be having, 
I shouldn't have given up on my dreams of becoming a neurobiologist. I shouldn't, dis I shouldn't dismiss this idea. I keep coming back to me for a reason. Okay, enough philosophizing. I'll go home and play into the basement guitar solos as a teaser for the concert. I had no idea you played the guitar. A little bit. I mean, she kind of does look like a person you that can play the guitar, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> That's on you, T-Rex. Stupid T-Rex. I thought you're, su you're supposed to be having a big brain for a dinosaur or something. But, for example, I know all the Into the Basement solos by heart. Wow, good for you! <laughs> uh, I don't have anything else that me needs repairs right now, so if I need my help, call this number. Talking to you really helped me sort out my life. Take it as a little thank you. Glad to hear it. Take care. We might meet again. Well then. He plays the guitar as well. Tricks are so versatile. Look at that clock. Time to close for the day. Oh, really? That was all? Damn. I got like two customers today. No wonder the, the government is considering shutting us down. <laughs> hey, show pause. Not listening to you, printer that cannot walk. Oh yeah, hilarious. As far as I know, you only need to buy two more pods to build your time machine. I'm warning you for the last time. Don't do it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> the old, old man burst into bits in hyperspace. Don't be a fool. Well, that's even better. You're not only short-handed, you're also short-witted. There were hundreds of bonus like you in Project Horror. So what? I already warned you that using this time machine is certain death. The old man was Hor Project Horror's lead engineer. Well, now he's spoiling all the cats, huh? Uh... I was... This unique instrument, it was he who, who he it was he who assembled me. For that project I need we needed volunteers willing willing to risk their lives to test the time machine. You heard me right. The very time machine you're building. In the end, we didn't even manage one successful transfer. All our volunteers came back as shapeless lumps of meat. The old man freaked out and left the project. He took me and his blueprints with him. When it came to his obsessive ideas, he was totally crazy. The old man continued experimenting with the time machine here. Using himself as a test subject. Well, that's even stupider. <laughs> I tried to take him out, talk him out of it, but failed. Well, and now he's a lump of meat. <laughs> You're a complete wacko. Just like the old man was. All I have, I achieve with this wackiness. It will be the death of you. It's your call. My life will become boring without the repairs. But it looks like your mind is set. You got me right. Idiot. Buffoon. Stupid ass printer. Right. Uh, what about the conclusions I've drawn? Let's see. Ball time? Yes. I believe that she's responsible for what happened. I was only trying to protect her. I'm blameless. Sort out the past. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, but I'm blameless. You know, sometimes they say that having a thick skull also works to sort out the past. It's not like you're having an argument with, with someone. It's just something about that. It's something that happened. And in that case, I would honestly, I, I disagree. If you just have a very stubbornness, if you just pull through, like, I think you could consider that as sorting out the past. Like, it's it's no longer bothering you, and it's not, it's not like any, it's affecting anyone, so it is. I mean, you did sort it out, even if it, that means more like, like, it's like, it's like saying you cleaned up your room and you just shoo, shove all your garbage down, like, it down that one closet down there, right? It's at least I mean you did clean up your room. It's it's clean now. It's just the trash is in the in not in the garbage, but in the closet, but like it's clean room is a clean room, you know? <laughs> I shall leave as soon as I can. Oh, well there goes the hamster. The hamster's escaped! I need to catch him! Stupid hamster! You want to be food? Right. There, you sit still now. I'll buy the next part today. There will be only one left if the blueprint is right. I'm coming past. Right, it's time for us to get laid. Right, divergence gauge sales. Wow. Damn. Uh, measures divergences from the main timeline. A great gift for who kids who love sci-fi. Warning, this device is a toy. You sure that this is gonna work? <laughs> I mean, they literally say it's a toy. Or maybe that's just a security measure, who knows. Boop, 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 boop. 128675. Alright, I bought the last part. 
Nice o'clock. Just like in Shane's Gate. I never watched it. Uh, Chris, the next time machine will be able to, will be available for purchase tomorrow at for forty dollars. Okay. Forty dollars. What's my balance? Forty two. Right. Well, you know, let's just finish the time machine, shall we? Day 12. Oh, no dreams? Interesting. No dreams. Oh, wait. Was I wrong? Nope. Right, tonight I can purchase the last time machine part. Achoo! I guess the tea really isn't helping me fight the cold. I just need to drink more of it. Yes, drink more energy drinks. T-Rex, that's definitely gonna help it. This is not tea, but it might help. Right, Justin. No, go away, Justin. I'm not in the mood for chatting this early in the morning. Ring. No, go away. <laughs> you won't just, just won't give up. I'm not in the mood. Shut up. Go away. Oh, wait, is, is it, is it, is it a canon event? <laughs> well, you know what? Let's see how far it goes. All right, let's see, Justin, huh? Let's see how far we can go. You versus me. Stupid raptor. Thought he outsmarted T-Rex. All right, you know what? Yeah, you outsmarted me. Yes, there we go. <laughs> what? Stupid raptor. We haven't chatted for a hundred years! Why are you rejecting the call? I'm returning to Sin City tonight! Oh, really? I thought the barbarians had eaten you! They tried, but I'm not wholesome. <laughs> I drew some conclusions concerning my success as a writer. You'll probably have loads to tell me too. How about we meet today on, tonight on the bridge? Do you see the weather forecast? Don't worry, it's gonna be awesome. The forecast says that the rain will stop by sundown. That's great, see you on the bridge tonight. See ya! And we'll discuss how I, sh I should behave when I met her in the past. Oh, that's you, you science baryonyx thing. Like, by the way, what is, what are these dinosaur species, honestly? Like, I think the big rich guy was supposed to be a Giganotosaurus with a chin. I it just might be, might just be my headcanon. I don't know. Like, I don't think any of these dinosaurs, as aside of the Trike and Greycorex, have, have like a specific species, I think. Uh, but... Maybe they are, they do have a species, I'm just stupid, right? Uh, I mean, maybe Trix, I mean, tr Trix? I don't know. Uh, hey, how did the date with your colleague go? Trix was priming you for it. It was so-so. My mood into these past few days wasn't proactive enough to open up in a conversation with him. I was reserved, I suppose. We went for a walk, but that's all. Nothing special. Oh well, I mean, progress is progress. This is Brad's. When it broke down, he became anxious and started picking on Johnny again. Johnny is so smart and Brad is such an idiot. Well, I guess I'm more like the Brad guy. Right, what's wrong with this gizmo? I'm not gonna tell you, test subject. Oh, come on! Stupid ass. Absolute messing with a person. What is this gizmo? This thing is not for standing. Is it for sitting then? Yes, taking notes. Has a grasp of basic logic. Now you're just roasting it. Now you're just roasting me. Like barbecue. You still stick, aren't you? For some reason, tea isn't helping. Tea alone doesn't cure colds, my silly test subject. I don't have time for any other treatment. I don't want to see your lo lose your vital functions, my dear test subject. Please take care of yourself. Uh, what does Brad use it for? He likes it when it's warm. And? I won't say another word. Use a gray cells. Stupid. <laughs> Useless. Might as well just fix it yourself. Right. At least she's paying me. <laughs> right, 3D printer. Right, just, can we just get the job done and over with? You still haven't changed your mind? Yes, shut up. <laughs> what an idiot. What an idiot you are. But right, let's see. I can't remove any of the parts. Uh, sneeze on Sny. Die. Very important. Yes. Brad, the user of this advice, likes when likes it when it's warm. Right, okay, eating. Ah, shit. Do this. Oh, well, for some reason that didn't hit. Right. Mm. 
Nice. Okay, looks like it looks like a looks like a bite it seed. Not gonna lie. Have you ever used a bite it? Wait, oh I can't oh we can make more of these? I didn't know you could make more of these. I thought you only could you could only use one. I mean they do say the more the merrier, right? Alright, A plus. Here's your fruits of my intellectual labor. I'll plug it in and see if it works. Hmm. I can feel the cushion warming up. Brat will be very pleased. Let him send a banana as a thank you. The quality of her pass is just stellar. Here's your pay with a little something on top. Nice. Give me those cash 40! Right, as long as that stupid Euplocephalus doesn't arrive and smash my window into pieces, we should be alright. Uh, that's it then? Yes, I brought everything that needed fixing. Perfect, this is just as well, because tonight I'm planning to travel to the past. Haha, <laughs> I got it, this was a joke. See, I'm learning to tell jokes from serious conversations. Yeah. I didn't pass it?! What?! Uh, your test results lead me to conclude that you possess negligible intellectual facilities. Negligible? Negligible? Are you shitting me? <laughs> Seriously? You failed most of my tests in your past and were done wrong. Oh, really? Well, at least she's paying me. I, what can I say? <laughs> Don't be upset. One day's apes will evolve and then, though even they are a bit dumb, you have a chance too. You always pick very peculiar words of encouragement. Sorry, sometimes I had a hard time articulating my thoughts. You know what? I'm glad we've met. We may not see each other again. Is that what you're saying, Chris? It's starting to see that your joke about time traveling wasn't a joke after all. Yeah! Who's ne who has who's the one with the negligible intelligence now, huh? <laughs> so just in case, take care of yourself. And you take care too. I'll do my best. Bye, time traveler. How bizarre. I'm a little sad about leaving for the past. Alright, why don't I get a little shut-eye while there's no client clients. I've heard that rest helps to cure the cold. Hey, Super Techie! Super Techie, wake up! Who's it now? It's an emergency! What? A lead guitarist broke his arm at the party last night. Oh, well, it really is survival of the fittest, isn't it, for you guys? Oh shit! Yeah, oh shit. The most important show in the career is in Jeopardy! We don't have enough backup mission who, musician who know all the guitar parts for songs by heart! Wow. Shiver me timbers. I think I just know what to do. Wait! I know someone who can play all your songs! With her eyes shut! How about hanging head down from a flame ring on the stage? Wait, what? It's part of the show! Special effects and whatnot. Can't vouch for performance in extreme conditions, but all guitar parts will be played with passion. Awesome! Call this wonder guitarist right now! A good relationship with Trix enabled me to help sit with his concert. Oh, really? Oh, who could have thought? It's so fortunate. Who could have thought? It is so fortunate that Trix just happened to open to up to me last night and told me how crazy she was about this band. <laughs> I'm calling her. Right, hello. Right, uh, this is the mayor speaking. What? Is this you, Chris? Did I tell you what, that your jokes are stupid? What I say that what I say next is not a joke, though. Would you like to perform in into the basement as a lead guitarist at the con concert tonight? Wait, what? You're pulling my leg. No, I'm dead serious. Haha, it was funny. I laughed. Happy now? Sid, she doesn't believe me. Talk to her. Hey, Triggs! Can you hear me? Is this Sid? So you're with the Wonder Guitar play then. You have a chance to rescue your favorite band from a royal screw-up, baby. What? Only guitarist broke his arm and cannot perform tonight. Chrissy tells me that you know the guitar parts by all, for all your songs by heart, and... What? I'm coming? I'm coming to your freaking repair shop this moment, Chris. This is... This is... Ah! Just be careful, it's pouring rain. Don't get into an accident. 
Well, I don't think she's gonna get into an accident. It's not marked in red. <laughs> I don't care about the rain! I'm practically there! Haha, <laughs> she's gone off her rocker. We have that effect on people, buddy. Well, since you found us a prospective guitar player, why don't we modernize something? Just let me bring it from my car. This is our secret technology. Let's see. Look! Our band uses a special combo amp. No other band has anything like it. To this baby, we owe our unique sound. Again? This time we want to go above and beyond, so I'm asking you a favor, favor Super Techie. Modify to the best of your abilities. Wow, you are really trusting in me. You sure I can do this? Can't say I fully trust you though. Yeah, you took the ro you, you took the words right out of my mouth. You've broken some of the gadgets I have brought for repairs. I'll risk it anyway. Why the heck not? Let me see what I can do. All right. Let's see. Which effect chip? Huh? What's the chip? Make it rock, my dude. All right, then. I want it to be rock. Can you be more specific? What well, can be more specific than rock? All right, then. You, you want me to slam a rock into this? Is that what you want? <laughs> I'll do my job better if you describe it. I say, make rock. Well, I guess you'll have rock. <gasps> Red fossil head. Let's see what we can do. Stop before it's too late. The time machine will kill you. No. You have no brains whatsoever. Right. Again, I need, I need to make rock. Right, I need to make rock. You don't have to write it twice, stupid Rex. <laughs> I guess more sound? Oof. Ninety percent. That was actually more worse than I thought. All right. I don't know how that glues, but here we go, and let's get more sound. Oh, I don't know. Bite. I I didn't know bite seeds had sounds, but I guess dinosaurs use bite seeds that have sounds. I suppose. Ninety-five. That's even better. You know, they do say that the third one is a charm. <laughs> oh, a uh, reverse spotted seat. Nice. Ouch. Eighty-eight. Eh, I mean it works. There you go. Two bonnet seats and a whatchamacallit that looks like a sore pot vertebra. Right. Now I need to give it some stickers. Of course I need to give it some stickers. Right. Rock. Right. Give it a bunch of stickers that he likes. Oh, just A plus? Okay. Here's your rock. Great, I'll test it at the concert. Don't you want to test it now? I don't have my guitar with me. You're taking a risk. Rock is risk. I can roughly evaluate the quality of your work. Let's see if he likes it. I, I gave him three sound amplifiers. All right, you're professional as always. Your f f filigree manner of dealing with gadgets is admirable. Here's your pay with a little something on top. Oh, so it actually was good. All right. You added your traditional design. Let me take a closer look. All right, make it rock. All right, pump up. You're on fire. It's bursting with awesomeness. Right, double. Right, Sid, this might be the last time we meet. Good luck with your show, headbanger. Always move forward. 
The show will be a blast. It's I'm 100% sure of it. Why is this the last time we meet, buddy? I enjoy stopping by your pet shop. You're quite a character. I just might travel to the past tonight. Or explode into pieces in hyperspace. I'll take my chances. Wow, you're intense. This is super cool. I'll write a song about the time machine. If you survive, let me know. It'll be interesting to chat. If you don't survive, let me know anyhow. <laughs> I admire your courage. This is true rock. Hello, Drake Rex. Wow, you're smoking? You're not even an adult. Come on. <laughs> Oof. I never run so fast in my life. So this is not a joke? I'm not dreaming? No, oh, Mary, you'll be a part of the show. Oh my gosh. It seems like that dino really has trust in me, huh? Are you sure you can play all the guitar parts for all your songs? I play them every night. I can play them with my eyes shut, underwater, hands free, whatever you want. Crucifying the drums, such passion. Oh, we did we did something right. Yay! <laughs> well, annihilate the city. Please don't actually destroy it. It's a poetic metaphor, my dude. You help me shape the concept, uh, concept of the show a great deal. I always l left your repair shop in a totally charged mood. Here's the idea. Today we start hardcore moshing. We'll state loud and clear what we think about the administration and the corporation. Drix, are you with me? Of course. Thanks, buddy. You're cool. Like, incredibly cool. Real badass. Drix, let's go and show them the light. Oh, well, let's go. You go, Sid. I'll catch up. Right, Drake, correct. Stop smoking my shop, will ya? I mean, I, I suppose the ventilation is helping, though. <laughs> Chris, thank you so much. This is more than I dreamed about. You're incredible. You have a talent. Oh, others open up to you and you make their lives better. I'm thinking of going back to my dreams of becoming a neurobiologist. Oh, please don't. <laughs> School? Now? I mean, I guess you, you aren't grown up yet, so it does make sense. You restore my ability to dream, damn it. How do you do it, Mr. Mischief Rex? Uh, a healthy diet. And a good, good night's sleep. And fitness training, too. Uh, you still have a weird sense of humor. I'm very glad we met. Farewell, Trix. Good luck at the concert. What do you mean, farewell? It just has an epic ring to it. Yeah, right. Well, goodbye, Drake Rex. Okay, my business in the city is done. Actually, I can call everyone and tell them I'm going to the past. Even if they think I'm crazy, there's nothing to lose. This way, I'll say proper goodbyes to everyone. Right, let's call Roy! <laughs> let's calm this stupid gig in Autosaurus. Right, alright, I'll try dialing Roy. Roy Rob Jobson Spear King. Hi Roy! I'm calling to let you know that I'm going to the past. I wanted to say goodbye. Cause, you know, we've known each other. Ha ha ha, come again. Going to the past, you nitwit! You are still up there in your weird fantasies, Chris. Grow already, you idiot! No, I'm serious! I know we've had our differences. Chris, don't waste my time with your bullshit. You're an idiot! I get it! You don't have to constantly remind me about it. Now piss off, I'm busy. Next time, call in that house. It'll be more appropriate. <laughs> Alright. Some drifts never change. Who else can I call? Let's call this. Who's this? Oh, it's the trike. Let's see how our... Uh, how our motorcycle thing went. Hello! Hi, Desella. The janitor? Why are you calling? I'm traveling to the past tonight, so I'm calling to say goodbye. I may not return ever again. Traveling to the past? Uh, okay. That's all you're gonna say? I guess so. Bye then. Hmm. I guess the still aren't, aren't, aren't the best of buddies. She was constantly mad at me. Too bad for her. Well, else can I hear a call? Who's Bon? Oh, it's a Uplo. Right. Who this? It's the police. What? Was my buddy? I had nothing to do with it. I'm not involved in any robberies. Calm down, Bond. It's me, Chris. That's your genius. I'll punch you in the face. I have something important to tell you. What is it? Tonight, I'll complete my time machine. After I use it, you won't be able to visit my repair shop anymore. I won't be here. Really? Never ever? Never ever. I wanted to drop by soon, but since you're flying away, I'll tell you something over the phone. You are a genius after all. I thought long and hard and decided to change my life. Hey, good for you. There'll be something more useful to society. I, saw, I stopped associating with my former buddies who have gotten me into all kinds of criminal activities. I'm looking for a better job. I don't know how it will work out. But at some point I'll get really scared because I don't know what my future will look like. And you, how would I put it? 
Does you believe in me, so lame? No, it's fine, I suppose. And you believe in me, genius! I couldn't see the ground good in myself, but you saw it. Well, I did see your tank club. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to say... What? Thank you, genius. There, I said it. I... I'm very glad to hear that you're moving in a productive direction. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Good luck with your gadget. What was it again? The time machine. Yeah, good luck with the wacky tech. And good luck to you and your new endeavors. Hey. I, hey, at least we have one good ending. There's a long way to go, but the important thing is to stop moving. You know, they say start is half the finish. Right. Uh, I'm glad I helped to start a new page in his life. Okay, we're done here. Time to meet Justin. Oh, it's all I'm almost at the bridge. Weather's getting better as promised. Hey Trix, it's Trix? Oh, let's see what she has to say. Hey Chris! It's so awesome! The crowd is ecstatic, we're killing it! I feel like I'm dreaming! The concert is so hardcore! The per percussionist set himself on fire! Don't worry, it's all part of the show. It's so cool, I must be dreaming! Am I dreaming? Send me a picture! This is it, Chris! Thank you! Ooh, okay, that's cool. Looks really awesome. She'll remember this night for the rest of her life. Here's the bridge. So we have two good endings, huh? This concludes the story of my journey. I acquired wisdom on the way, and I realized that the road to your dreams is many miles long. You will stumble and fall more than once, but it's no excuse to stop moving. I'll make another attempt at becoming a writer. Oh, come on, seriously? I guess you never learn, huh? A thousand attempts, if it need be. I mean, if you don't at least, if you don't starve to death, that is. <laughs> What'd you say, Chris? Uh, I'm worried about you going on a wild goose chase, definitely. <laughs> Dude, I've literally just dragged myself out of a swamp of doubts. And you're drowning me in it again. What if you don't succeed? There's no guarantee, you know? Then I'll try again. The only problem is I have no money since I quit my job. See, that's what happens, dum-dum. And I thought rappers were supposed to be smart. <laughs> Maybe I should stop going super hard on all these characters. <laughs> it's funny, you know. How bad is it? I have nothing but my change in my pockets. I should have talked you out of it on that day. Oh well, what's done is done. Really? Why? I don't know, maybe she likes you. You disheveled mohawk must be attracting attention. I'm a handsome guy all over. How would you like her to- Would you like her phone number? Sure, why the heck not? Even if there's no romance, it might be an adventure to remember later. Are you making progress in time machine? I have big news about it. I'll travel to the past tonight. So soon? I didn't even make a celebrity cake. All I can give you is a kick in the pants for luck. Oh, it's associated with a certain luck. I may never return. How do you mean? All experiments with the time machine ended up with the test subjects dead. What? Break the damn machine! But it gives me a chance to see her again. And save her from the accident. Chris, are you sure about this? Of course not, damn it. Not like I have a choice. You're so driven that you always achieve the impossible. I know it. You did it on the basketball court. You did it in your repair shop. Even you feel like experience, that is. But this time, this time's different. Are you saying this might be the last time we see each other? Come on, it's gonna be awesome. Hey, what's my line? You know what? I know how much it means for you. Especially given that she was the last girl in this species. I mean, like, couldn't you, I don't know, like, crossbreed? I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, close relatives should be able to do that. I mean, the kid won't be able to reproduce like a mule, but... I don't know, maybe, maybe T-Rex give those local Despletosaurus and Albertosaurus a chance, you know? <laughs> uh, so, uh, I won't try to talk you out of it. As much as I wish you to say... This is, a, this is your path. My desire to hold my friend close should interfere with my fulfillment of the dream. Though I admit, I admit I'd, I'd rather you didn't go through my, with your plan. You already, do you already know what you will tell her when you two meet? Will you tell her about the accident and the fact that you arrived in a time machine? Will you tell her that you blame yourself for what happened to her in one of those timelines? Or will you pretend that the accident never happened? I thought long and hard about this. This is what I decided. I won't tell her anything. Yep, some things are better not, better left untouched. The accident wasn't even my fault. I do not have it to take account for, to, for myself to her. All I ever did was I did for her. All I ever wanted was to keep her safe. And tonight I'm traveling to the past for her to save her. 
All right, your decision. Are you sure about it? Uh, well, I'm awful. I don't deserve her. To redeem myself, I'll do whatever she wants me to. As you say. Oh, I still have that stone from the bridge in my pocket. I believe it's time to throw it away. I've sorted myself out, so it's time to part with it. You know what? Let's keep this. You know, let's keep this. Why not? As a reminder of the adventures that we had together. No, I'm going to keep it. Hmm, as I say, Chris, let's go for a walk and get coffees. Who knows if we'll see each other ever again. Uh, that's all. I need to buy the last time machine part and install it. Okay, so wait, hold up. Are there settings here? Settings. Can I save or... No, I don't think there is an option to save because I kind of want to happen. I, I want to see what happens if I don't, if I just miss the time machine. Oh, wait, I can't use the shop anymore. Oh, for real? Oh, well, news, let's see. Rides across the city. Since the, since city dwellers are coming more and out into the streets more and more often to protest against the shutting down of the AI in this administration initiative. Yes, Lofo, you can speak. Thank you. Uh, the participants request a test run of this project because they are unhappy with the decisions of the current administration. Okay. Smoking is okay. Oh, really? Uh, revealing that smoking does not negatively affect consumer health in the long term. Research was in no way related to the type of activity, the type, that the, the, the research was no in, in no way related to the type of activity our company is regularly in, engaged in. Its sole purpose was to debunk that ageless and biased myth that smoking cigarettes is harmful to oneself. Moreover, we've conclusively dem demonstrated that smoking's herb serves to reduce stress, helping to prolong life, not shorten it. I can finally count my smoking breaks as exercise. This study seemed way too legit. <laughs> Come on, dudes, they'll conduct any number of fake studies to keep their pockets full. Right. Well, 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 seems like we can't buy that. Disco ball say- Wait, we need a disco ball? What? What the hell do we need a disco ball for? Huh? Well, there we go. There's our disco. I don't know why we would need, like, I, I I don't know what I can make with this time machine. I guess I'll, it, it's a disco shower thing with a, with a numbers toy and a random pet hamster that can reduce the electricity bill, but that's about it. <laughs> well, let's put it in the shower then. A disco ball? Why would anyone need it? You don't get it. It refracts light and creates a hole in time space continuum. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, there we go. Right then. Cozy home. You know what? Let's buy some window binds. It's the least we can do. Is this really happening? I'm scared. Save me, mom. What am I saying? Nobody can save me now. <laughs> it's all in my hands. I'll press the button on three. Three? Two? Wait, wait, wait I'm, I haven't unboxed the window binds. What? What are you? Yeah. There we go. Right. If I'm going, I'm installing these things before I go. Right. Nice. The window binds are here. Hey, if I'm leaving, I'm leaving in style. Alright? <laughs> One. Here we go. Well, we didn't turn into a lump of meat yet. What? Haha, uh -huh. I probably should place a reducer closer to the top. Will it do the trick? Ooh! Oh, we can do that! That is so cool! Hey, we can do something like this! Okay, well then, that's pretty nice. There you go. Three, two, one! Oh, here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Oh, and we go! Off we go! Haha, <laughs> it's just a little hiccup. Oh, never mind. I'm still there. I didn't. I didn't notice that. I was there. Right. Never mind. 
Right. You sure this is working, buddy? I mean, third time's a charm. And... Is it T-Rex steaks for dinner? And yep, there we go. No! Not, it has to function! What does this blueprint say? I assembled it correctly, but it does not function. Oh, wait, what? Could it be I did something wrong? Perhaps should have asked my clients a thing or two about mechanics how to set up the connections in these kind of devices. Oh, come on, seriously? One of them. Time machine is toast. This is the end. Are you kidding me? No! After all that? That has to be the most shittiest conclusion we've arrived in. Are you kidding me? Goodbye, my repair shop. I bought you the hopes of changing my life. But my dreams did not come true and all, all, and all the repair shops will be shut, soon shut down. It's time to pack up and go back to my little hometown. Really? I don't even get to build a time machine? Oh my god, that, that just sucks. <laughs> really? Oh, the la- oh, come on. I made a lot of contracts here. Some became close friends. I hate your repair shop. Damn you! Do you hear me? I couldn't save her. Damn it all to hell. I don't want anything to do with this anymore. Nothing makes sense now. I'm an idiot. Everything falls out of my hands. My tiny, tiny hands. Roy was right about me. I'm a loser. Hey, nitwit, what are you doing? Delivering a farewell speech? Why is this printer still on? I should unplug it before I leave. What's the ruckus all about? Why are you still on? It was you who forgot to unplug me last night, you nitwit. I'll fix it. Open the top drawer of your desk. What? I'm telling you, stop sniveling and open the top drawer of your desk. Okay. What? This is... That's the second half of the boob... That's the second half of the blueprint, you nitwit. All this time, you've been assembling half of the time machine. Ah, shit me. <laughs> And you're only telling me now, you stupid jerk! I've told you that all the pr previous test subjects died testing the time machine. If you die, I'll unplug from life again. It's not in my interest for you to build it. But if you know what? In the time we've no known each other, I've grown to care about you. You and your dream. After all, I'm one of a kind too. And frankly, it's no fun. I heard your speech in the repair shop. It became the last straw. You can go ahead and build your stupid time machine. Be my guest, stretch yourself into pieces in hyperspace. I just can't stand watching your frantic endeavors. You're passionate about your dream. You don't see, see, see such passion every day. Kick this universe's ass! Let me hug you, you rusty piece of metal. There, there. Let's skip the sappy stuff. I'm ready to show this time and space continuum who's boss. Yes, damn it! Glad to hear it. Alright, what you can do with organic life forms? Sounds like someone's at the door. Alright, next stage! Save enough money for the next parts. Easy. Nice. Okay. Oh, I was almost worried. Oh, who are you? Your workshop gained some renown. You did well. Who are you? How about you share your gains? Don't threaten me. Really? This is going to be fun. That's your cue, Greg. Not the window. Not again. Could you repeat that? I didn't catch it. I said. Falls off my window. We've got a cocky specimen here, boys. Zach, do you want to say anything? Ooh, gun. Stop! Don't! Say it again. If you, uh, if you shoot me, you'll be in trouble. Oh, really? Let's see. Stop! Pull the trigger. No! Oh. Well, that's one way to go, I suppose. <laughs> oh, what?! This is how not how my story ends. I should have chosen my words more carefully. Can't do anything about it right now. 
Hey, dumbass! Open your eyes! Wake up, dude! You shut your pants! I... Zack fired into the wall! This is your last warning, idiot! Interrupt me once again and you'll get a bullet to the head! And trust me, we'll get away with it! And all you have a self Chris, you're a connoisseur of dino emotions! I'm a swam to a certain mood! Oh, again? Uh... I have a dream! Oh, he likes it. Oh, he likes it? <gasps> How curious. What kind of dream? To build a time machine. Haha, <laughs> you're a nutcase. But nutcases often, often achieve something. Unlike spineless slobs. Now listen carefully. You will work for us. You do, you do know that all of our repair shops in the city closed down because of the new regulations. All the workshops closed down because they're not banned. <clears throat> Uh, no problem. <clears throat> we are in agreement then. Repair this rocket launcher. Ooh. Uh, how are you planning to use it? Oh, he doesn't like it. Okay. Oh, yikes. Did I say you could ask questions? No, I need to ask a few questions about the problem. I'm fed up with your questions, Zach. Shoot him. Oh, come on. Not again. Wait. I'm just kidding, Zack. Put the gun away. So much testing whether your predatory dinosaurs have a backbone. <laughs> we have a problem with your species. Oh, come on. Now you're making me more upset. <clears throat> I just wanted to hear his backstory, that's all. Don't you get it? I'm asking any questions here, nitwit. I apologize. That's what you need to ask about the repairs. Oh, hey, it, it worked. Oh, uh, so how does it work? Nuclear fusion heats up the missile and propels it towards the target using a homing system. Okay. Yes, it's a unique design solution. You know a thing about mechanics. Ooh, okay, that might help me out. I didn't ask for your opinion. Uh, is it damaged? Let me test it with you as a target. Is your snout ready? Please don't. <laughs> what? What was it? What was it supposed to say there? <laughs> Spineless clown. I wasn't going to shoot. This proves once again how pathetic predator dinosaurs actually are. Anyhow, didn't encounter any problem with the homing system. Alright, what happens if you try? The missile doesn't come out of the barrel. Well, I guess it, it might not have enough speed. Okay. Nuclear retractor. Or reactor, okay. You're slow! Nuclear reactor! Find the keyword and you'll know what to do. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can make him happy. That's all I need to know. I can't offer him a drink, though. Okay. Nuclear fusion. We got the mob on our doorstep. A real mob? As real as it gets. Cool. I'm cool. If I don't fix this rocket launcher, I'm dino meat. I have a different suggestion. Break the rocket, I'll pay you for doing it. <laughs> oh my god, you can't be serious. They'll shoot me. I have a feeling there's something fishy going on. Give my offer some thought. Well, I mean, you know, the, the devs put in that thing for a reason, right? Okay, nuclear fusion. I'll put some glue in there. You know, maybe make it a bit louder. Uh, I, I ran a microchip with pre-draw microchips. Okay. Follow the cut out the shape. What? 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 Oh, oh, okay, I see. Nice. That's gotta be a... Oh, that's not a good match. What? <laughs> I mean, it, it, if it works, it works. There you go. It's an S. Here you go. An extra... Your rocket launcher with extra boom. By boom, I just mean literally the sound effect boom. I added in sound. <laughs> you broke the rocket launcher completely. Any last words? Ah! This is what I could have said. However, you broke it so in ingenuously that I'm actually impressed. You 
Gadget breaking skill could be very useful for sabotaging the cops. Don't worry about the banner repair shops while we have a use for you. We've got it covered. The administration is tied to you? Okay, I feel like that's a bit of a stretch, but I mean, I'm getting more money, so why not? Uh, are you surprised? You know what, handy worker? Look at the pendant on my neck. What do you think it symbolizes? Uh, it's a spear tip. It's a bloodied leaf. Your gang asserts the superiority of herbivorous dinosaurs. Ooh, he likes it. Oh, you're smart. This is the bloody leaf, and it symbolizes exactly what you said. You know in what ways herbivores are superior to you, her predators? Uh, it's harder for your herbivores to carve the path through life. It builds a character. <laughs> yeah, let's see what let's see what you get if you, if you get all the way to to the other end. I'm curious. Exactly. You're not that slow for a predator. And poor districts, herbivores had to stick closer to to the get to defend themselves. In the end, we showed you, you self-righteous predators, what we're made of. We will do anything to climb to the top. While you slop around, we join our efforts and get things done. Hardships bring us closer together. We'll claim this food spot at the top of the food chain. I mean, it's called the food chain, right? Like, you do realize that you'll have to eat us, right? <laughs> uh, can I become herbivore too? Oh, he doesn't like it? Oh, I mean, yeah, I do suppose it sounds disrespectful. <laughs> Partners like you are entering the final days. It's too late now. You're as spineless as all predators. Your time is almost up. Transfer the money, and we're leaving. No! Oh, no, no, no. Oh. No! God damn it. T tomorrow we'll bring in another order. Call me Lance, predator. Let's go, boys. God damn it. Right, the mob is the last thing I'll need here. This guy's a really weird philosophy. Philosophy of power? I need to have a beverage and calm down. Great, but calming down, energy drinks are the best. It pleasantly tickles the thro throat. Who are you? Good day to you, citizen. The police! The mob just visited. So what? Are you freaking kidding me? Get a hold of yourself, citizen. Do not use abusive language. I could fine you for abusing a police officer. If you want the police to act, file a complaint. A complaint? Fill in the form. Attach photos from the crime scene. Send a detailed description of what happened, down to a second, to the police station. We'll process it when there's time. The mobs has just left my workshop a second before you came in. You ought to arrest them. I repeat, file a complaint. We'll process it. That's all you're gonna say? There's not much I can do. Other rules made this way that, so that no one can file a complaint. That's how the system works. I hope we're clear on this matter. I need your repair services. That's brazen. Unfortunately, all the neighbor, all the repair shops in the neighborhood that closed down fall in the legal ban. They might get to you soon too. Meanwhile, I'm asking you to repair the microwave from your police station. Oh, really? That's a very specific thing. Let's see. Change the music too. I don't like vocals when I'm talking, but I'm asking you to repair the microwave. Okay, let's see. You got the guts. Broke the mafia's rocket launcher. Here's a reward. All right, let's. You better reward me a lot. Forty. Yes. <laughs> about that cop. Don't you dare tell him about that time machine. He'll confiscate it. I have no such intentions. He's not the nicest guy. When I place the pots, I'll decorate the microwave for the police station. Okay, so we have this ring. Okay, we'll put it there. I don't want to make the same mistake as last time. Right. Wait, do we not have those large chips? Oh, we also have this. I didn't know, realize that, right. No notes.
it like this? Was it like this or the other way around? I mean, it says it's done, so I'm just gonna assume that. Right. You suck. Heart. Right, with love. Here you go. Have a little kitty. B? Here's your police station microwave with my exclusive design. Let's see if it likes it. No actual repair happened, citizen. It's still not functional. The scribbles on can't, can't compensate for it. And now I've got to go to work, see you around. You know what, buddy? Widespread crime and corruption among cops pisses me off mightily. Well then! <laughs> I'm doing something to fight it. Experience taught me to work undercover. Frankly, I didn't come here to repair the microwave. I wanted to grab, get to know the workshop owner. But you seem like a nice guy. Your repair skills are far from perfect. You're great at breaking things. It will come in handy. <laughs> I guess I, there is, this is not a repair shop. It's more like the breaking down place. <laughs> I have to deal with cases, let's say, outside of my area of responsibility. The police are powerless. Some are corrupt, just some are just afraid to make a move. All laws, as you can see, make it difficult to shut down this bloody leaf gang. I'd like to us for us to comp cooperate. Listen, friend. I know that you've collected time machine parts. How do you know it? The police has its sources. You're freaking the forum for, for time travelers. Don't worry, I won't meddle in your quirky hobbies. But if, if you help me, I'll help you. I'll give you information regarding the place where you can get by the next part. Can we cooperate? A worthy offer. Right. Responsible. Right. Defeat the bloody leaf. Okay. Tomorrow, I'll bring a device that can help us collect incriminating event evidence against one of Zortek's managers. Zortek is also in cahoots? I see you're near here. Watch yourself. Even with police officers. Even with me. Oof. I've been patrolling for two days without a wink of sleep. Really? Uh, do you have happen to have Blade X? Blade X? It's an emergent energy drink. My son gave a taste not too long ago. Hmm. I've never been a fan of this kind of beverages. But in perks, you build... You... It perks up... You... It perks you up better than coffee. I don't have any stock yet, but I'll check the shop tonight. Meanwhile, I can give you something else. Right, let me give you some fizz. Right, I think it's pretty closest to an uh, energy drink. Right. Not very energizing, but thank you anyways. Back to patrolling duties. See you tomorrow. My name is Marcus Trust. That's, that's, that's a pretty suspicious name. <laughs> like, when your name is literally Trust? Hmm. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. I need you to get going. And Chris, this discussion has to stay between you and me. Don't tell a soul. I could easily lose my job. I'm taking a great risk. Great. I feel like I've bet on the right dinosaur. I'm really screwed. This is our time machine part that pop, pop promised me. There's nothing I won't do for it. <laughs> but I don't get this... But I don't get this cop. Is he honest or delicious? All I can say is he, he's having a hard time within the system. Okay, so it's just the start. Okay, I honestly thought today we might be the end of it. But no, there's more. Right. Then I can buy Blade X. I didn't call my parents when I was about to go into the past yesterday. What kind of son does it make me? What if I never come back? I'll do what I should have, should have done. Right, mom. Hello, Chris. How are you? What passed? Chris? Chris, are you delirious? Are you very ill and hallucinating? No, Mom. Listen. Oh, dear, honey, Chris. Chris is on his deathbed. He's hallucinating. Mom? Chris, hold on. We're calling an ambulance for you. Mom, I'm fine. No. Yes. No, I can hear it. Mom, I was just kidding. I was just... 
I wasn't hallucinating. Just joking. I don't like these kind of jokes. I thought you were gonna mad. Well, are you sure you're okay? Yes, mom. All right, please call us often. Good, don't drive yourself crazy. Get help if you need be. I'll try. I'll call you later. But I spilled the beans right away. Okay, shop. Let's see. Blade X energy drink. Bonsai tree. I could get glowing fish or I could get blade X. Hmm. TV? What is that? Cable channels. Ooh. Cleaning services. You know, I could buy Blade X or I could buy a radioactive fish. I'm gonna buy the radioactive fish. <laughs> right. Radioactive fish, here we come. Yay! It's not radiation that makes these aquarium fish glow, is it? I'll find out in the morning. That's if you wake up, that is. Rides are over. Oh, really? Uh, arbitrary measures are over. The citizens got their way and the official signed the decree. Okay, that's nice. The, the a major part in finding the solution was played by the intro to the basement concert. The rock band is known for their accusatory song lyrics. Oh, okay. There will be no AI administration. It's just a non-committal state to calm you down. Well, I wasn't never interested in politics, and I don't think dino politics are gonna matter to me anyways. <laughs> right, lamp screen. Sales launch in two days. Wow, you, you really you're really gonna say it out loud that you need this second half of the time machine, really? <laughs> right. Well, well, well. Is it ball time? Day 14. In a couple of days time. Oh, there it is. This radioactive fish. Yay. It's totally worth the investment. Uh, in a couple days, I'll I will infiltrate the mob. Who would have thought I it would come down to this? All I wanted is to run a repair shop. Who are you? Um, good afternoon. Did I get this right? Is this a repair shop? Last one in town, by the way. That's right, I was desperate to find one. I would like to repair a gadget that has sentimental value. Will you be careful? I'm always careful and gentle. Are you in a date, Sim? No one uses such cheesy phrases outside of it. Here it is. Okay. This is my dad's gaming console. That's funny. I wonder why. Why don't I steal this console and see how she reacts? The data might help to calibrate my device. Would you like me to add some nice decoration? Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Oh no. I think her definition and my definition of decoration are, are, are I think, a bit varied. <laughs> what style do you prefer? A mistake. I don't know. Whatever you like best. I've been trying to deduce what you might like. But if I go for the opposite of our own style, it might elicit an emotional response. Right, I'll do my best. Is she a psychopath? She might be a psychopath. The last thing we know we need is a is a yandere yandosaurus. Right. How are you doing, time traveler? I'm ready to roll. Right, I'm full of anticipation myself. What's your great intention to for traveling to the past? To show in all the dinosaurs' paws! I'd love to see it. Count me in. Now that we have a plan, let's finance it. What do you have here? A gaming console? The old man did his, did his share of grind, grinding. Who brought this device? Some old geezer? Uh, yeah, he's so long in the tooth that he's scraping the floor with it. <laughs> They're the only ones still using these ancient consoles. Proceed as carefully as you can. It's rather, it's rather difficult to repair such old devices. Okay, oh my god, okay. Oh, wow, okay, the difficulty definitely has gone up, huh? Right. Do 
do that. Where is that one this? Right. So I think this came first. Then this. And then this. Brick game. Oh, it's Tetris. Well, let's see. Let's draw something. On the screen! <laughs> That'll help it. I just spray paint right on over all the way on top of the screen. Bruh, I really should get more stickers. <laughs> there you go. Wow! Jeez. Okay. What the hell did I do wrong this time? I'm pretty sure I got that one right. Right, let me plug it in. I don't know. It doesn't work. Such a shame. At least you decorated it. Oh, what's this? <laughs> That's funny. I feel like this design reassures me. It says you can do it, girl. Thank you. I'm transferring the payment. You didn't repair it, but I'll pay you for the effort. You probably made a mistake, but who doesn't? Ooh. What? $30? She must be rich. Can I bring up more old devices from my garage? Got a garage full of old devices? Not exactly. Me and my mom own it, but yes. We're moving up, but the garage is full of dad's stuff that he had left there when he mom split up. These mementos are still there to me. I want to keep them, but I've got to fix them first. And parents divorced? Yeah, years ago. Must have been a terrible experience, huh? Well, the machine is still not working, though. Yes, it was. Thank you for asking. Like, seriously. It makes me feel better. Right, it's funny. I came here in a sorry state, but I feel much better after chatting with you. What's your name? Chris. And I'm Mia. Mia. A mistake. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> that, 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 that that's just kind of funny, though. <laughs> All right. I gotta run to the uni. Yeah, who doesn't? Would you believe it? I felt so wiped out that I didn't want to leave the house today. Will you put me in a much better mood? I'll drop by again tomorrow. Gotta run! By the way, do you know anything about the time machine blueprints? What? How do you know it? Sorry, forget it. That was weird. The mood detector still didn't... Detector mood. Hey there, I got news for you! This guy again. Right, bring it on! Right, we're gonna we're gonna act tough to these guys. Right, fight fight nail with nail, tooth to tooth, and I guess toughness with toughness. Well well, let's see. In a couple of days you're moving into our basement. Not in a piecemeal manner, I hope. Haha, <laughs> like your like sense of humor. We need some technical assistance as in organizing a local event. It will change the way the city lives forever. There's a lot to be done, so we need you on site. Count me in. Nobody's asking your opinion. For now, fix the security system we use in our doors. Okay, I'll, I, I need to ask a couple of questions before I can do the repairs. Let's see. I asked these questions here. Understood? Oh well. <laughs> Well, I guess you won't be able to fix it unless you have some additional info. Okay, ask away, but phrase it differently. Uh... Well, answer me! Oh, well, he didn't like it this time. I guess I, I had too much of a backbone there, huh? You're dead, dead handy worker. Zack! These were your last words! Again! Bro, one joke 
You're stealing the becoming holy, clown. <laughs> Be thankful that we still have use for you. I would gladly accept spread your brains onto the wall. Right. Let's see. Were you like a drawing on your device? <laughs> Stop recognizing the snouts of gang members who've been in a fight. How so? They've become- they've been so roughed up in their own mammoth that won't recognize them. But the security system should! How am I supposed to fix that? Use your brains before you brain blow them out. Would you like something to drink? Stick to the point. This is relevant. I'm gonna paint the wall with your brains! Easy easy, I just be polite. Right, I'm not gonna ask him to get a drawing on it, right? Even I think that's cringe. Right. <laughs> I have an idea. We'll see. Right. So we need, we need brains, I suppose. You're way over your head. Oh, gee, I haven't noticed. Right, intelligence. Oh my god, what the hell is this thing? You gotta be shitting me, right? Like this? I did my best, okay? <laughs> oh wow, yeah. It's, it's really off. Oh, there we go. Finally an A. Alright, you can rough up each other's notes as much as you like now. Alright. I'll start with you! What? I'll use a snout to test the recognition system. We'll see if it recognizes your roughed up snout. Let's upload your unroughened snout into the database first. Snout uploaded into the database. And now... Hey, get lost! Ouch! My nose! It'll heal right up! Let's try to recognize you now. Not recognized. Excellent, that's what the nose punching was for. The system is functional! Bruh. Do you feel the superiority of power all over... Over all other matters? That's hard to argue with. You said it. N neighborhood I grew up in. The police never set foot there. Can you imagine what it was like? Predators ruthlessly bullied? You dig it. The predators were literally destroying the herbivores. That's what our boss to be knew was it was boss to be knew it was time to unite. When I learned about the bloody leaf gang, I knew this was my chance to show those predators who's boss. I joined the gang to climb to the top of the food chain. Who's the victim now? No morale, no higher matters will ever give you such firm footing as power. Uh, well, we'll see about that. You know, I'm starting to enjoy you. Watching your struggle is quite entertaining. But what's the point? I have a goal. I respect that. Well, we can be on good terms both with the gang and the police. I know that you're constructing the time machine. We have ears everywhere. What will you do if I come up and smash it into pieces? Uh, I don't know. <gasps> what was I gonna supposed to say there? Right. You are such a hard dinosaur to mess around with. Right. There comes a moment when you gotta decide who you are. And you can't do it half assed I'll ask again. What will you do if I come up and smash it into pieces? Over my dead body! Yes. That's more like it. How curious, you're self so self-confident. I won't smash your time machine because I'm curious to see what a nutcase like you can accomplish. You've got a backbone, handy worker. I respect that. As a to token of my respect, I'll pay for your just. I'll pay for your work just because I'm a nice guy. Sure, why not? Bloody mafia money, and she, and this guy paid less than the dinosaur earlier. Right, we'll come in and get you in a couple days. You'll work in our basement. Let's go, boys. 
Right, looks like here he respects those who can show character and survive in a tough environment. But you don't really have to say it out loud, you know, Chris. <laughs> you know, I can think too. I have brains, you know. What do you think I am? A plant? Right, I, I believe I'm gradually earning his respect. Right, and now there is the Allosaur. Uh, greeting, citizen. A mobster just left your repair shop. What did you talk about? Uh, is the shop under surveillance now? It's a necessary precaution. You're my crime fighting partner now, and I need timely updates. This is for your own safety too. Can't get through his off officious attitude. Perhaps I, perhaps I could get gl glimpse his real motives if I got him got him to relax a little. Right, speak, Lofo. I need you help in collecting evidence against the Bloody Leaf Gang. Ooh, Casey K3C edits. Thank you for the subscription. Yay. Uh, you know that government officials have their own in insignia, tail lights. Tail lights. What? A man should intercept one such device in the mail. What the hell's a tail light? I planted a track on it, but damaged the tail light itself. We need to make the device functional again so that its owner doesn't suspect a thing. Okay, that sounds pretty difficult. Right. I'll call the owner. <laughs> Let's see if I can get him a bit to act up. Are you nuts? I'm kidding. This is a bad joke. <laughs> How did the tail light function before you damaged it? That's the thing, citizen. I'm not really sure. Something broke. I don't know what. I thought a cop should pay more attention to when he, when he, when he handles that sort of thing. It was my daughter's birthday. I left the party early to intercept my the taillight. As it turned out, my mind was elsewhere. Though you probably won't understand. It's family matters. I thought there were no more T-Rexes on Earth, so you wouldn't have a family. I'm sorry, citizen. This line of work made me call this. I said it without thinking. I really am. I meant no harm. Go to- <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I've become insensitive. Right, that's the thing. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but you're a professional, aren't you? Well, what's the purpose? When people see it, they know it's a government official and give way. So the taillight shows the high status of the owner. Something like this. Right. I'll try to make this taillight functional again. Right, the success of our mission depends on it. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's see. We can fix this. Are you sure you can trust this cop? He looks honest. And I think you look naive. I analyze his behavior. He just has to, has to compromise from time to time to be able to function within the system. But his main goal is to fight crime within the city. Uh-huh. By the way, we have a new chip. Check it out. Oh, what the hell is that? Coolness. The frick we need a chip for coolness. Light. Uh, high status. So I guess we need coolness and light, maybe? But we'll, we'll do both, right? God, I hate this so much. This is so much harder. I kid you not. I know I screwed up. That angle does not match. That that angle especially. Ah, still good enough, right? Ooh, what the hell? What the hell was that? Okay, I don't know what that was. Okay, right. Lights. They say it is a tail light after all. Right, Dinoso tech support. A plus, plus, nice. Me did. Let's see if it works. Taillight shines like a beacon. 
Nice. Ooh, let's see what he becomes. Relaxed. Okay. This is exactly how it how This is exactly how if worked before I damaged it? You mean how it worked, right? Oh Yeah, that that's Yeah. That's grammar, right? <laughs> right, you really are a pro citizen. The microchip is cut so neatly like it's always been there. Hehe. <laughs> it's high quality work. Here's your well deserved pay. Forty dollars. Yes, we make money. Right. All right, I gotta go. Right. Hey, I'll give you something though. It might not be the one, in because I in, the money that I got was spent on that glowing fish behind you. But I will give you fizz. Here you go. Oh, he does like it though. Why not? This is not an energy drink, but it's still fine. Right, speaking of my son, I should have picked him up after school. But all this bloody leaf business got me distracted. I'm fed up with this. He's saying things like like this. It seems like he opened up a little bit. If I get him to relax some more, he I might get a better grasp of his intention. Right. Why is he so intent on fighting crime? I guess you didn't know what pursuit for justice means. All my life I just couldn't stand the impunity of certain characters. And purity breeds lawlessness. We need to bring order to this place. Uh, that's a bit too extreme. Oh, no. So, I guess in the, when in the first first part of the game, you wanted this to be in the center. In the new version of the game, you wanted to go on the right. So, is there another way? Can't achieve anything so tangible without risk. I've heard enough of couch philosophers. I rarely act on their words. Please don't say you're like this. Don't worry. I'm all for real. But I don't like Twitter people uh, too. <laughs> all those couch nitwits, right? This is great. Do you want to know how I acquired these scars? What scars? <laughs> oh, dozens of them. This scar across my eyes from a frack grenade. When I, oh, that one. I thought that was just a stripe. Okay. When I was young, I volunteered to go to war. I firmly believe that we were fighting for the righteous cause, liberating the neighboring country. This is a cautionary tale about ideals and where they can take you. I reckon you should analyze the situation. Let's see. Zen. Oh. Exactly, citizen. At that point, the state of propaganda... Cleverly manipulated the sense of justice. It was a traumatic experience, but it became an eye-opener. You look inside yourself and discover things better left undisturbed. Have you ever discovered that you could be a real monster? Yes, my girlfriend died because of me. <laughs> then you know exactly what I mean, Chris. You have no idea what slumbers within you. In this right circumstances, it might wake up. And you'll be horrified at what you see inside yourself. If, you can, if anyone tries to sell you a load of balloony, can't only trust the closest friends and family. Well said. Her smart beyond your years. Don't make the same mistake I did, Chris. Use your own judgment. I, I have to go now. Thank you for this conversation. You're a smart guy. Tomorrow we'll carry on with your mob exposing work. I got him to open up. I think I can trust this one. A strong opinions. He believes in what he's doing. Even if it's occasionally, oh, he resorts to distress, to drastic action. Oh, come on. Shut up, Justin. But I'm tired. Oh, come on, Justin. For the love of God. All right. What? I want to sleep. Your phone is acting up, bro. It's been dropping my calls. Tell me that I'm calling to the past right now. Are you on the alternative timeline right now? What is it like? Uh, in this timeline, the apes evolved and took over the world. Can you imagine? Give me a break. These apes are dumb. Did something go wrong with your time travel? Actually, yeah. I still need to purchase some parts. I see. We're gonna stick around in this timeline then. That's cool. Hey. Dude, I called her. Who? Dude, I called the seller. He gave me her phone number. She has a crush on me. She asked me to hold her bike while she changed the tire. 
The bright bike's muffler made a funny noise, which sounded like, well, well, you know. So I made a joke. And she laughed at it. My fart joke. This is luff, dude. Ah, well. Don't get ahead of yourself. When did you become such a nag? The dress in me thrives with this girl. Jokes aside, that was a damn pleasant encounter. Tomorrow we're going bike riding. I'll send pictures. What you want to see? You're happy, Snout. Will do. I'll be very happy. Okay, I'm gonna get ready for tomorrow. See ya. Well, I'm glad for him. Justin and Decilla are different species, though. Does that mean they don't have a future together? No kids and all. This was an option all along? <laughs> ah! This is Justin's choice. For myself, I want something different. After all, I mean, you've been living your entire life to get a T-Rex girlfriend. Now you want a different species? I mean, I did say something about the Despletosaurus and Albertosaurus is next door, but still. I mean, if you spent that much money in a time machine, you might as well go through with it. <laughs> I'm the last T-Rex, so I want to meet the T-Rex girl. I'll think about it later. You know, Chris, that does bring up a problem, though. I mean, what about your kids, then? <laughs> I'm home now. Ah, oh, it's that shitty hamster again. Right. There you go. Tomorrow, another time machine part goes on sale. I need to save enough money to buy it. Well, how much is it? Right, damn, that's a lot of stuff that we failed. Wait. Oh, we built the time machine, though. It's $80, right. How much do we have? 102 We should be alright, though. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's 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 put some let's put some clothes in there. Let's get rid of our dirty ass clothes. Come on. It's about time we put them in there. I can put all my stuff in the closet now. Right. Yes. Where do I move it though? Where's the closet? I don't see it. Oh, there? Okay. Let the mess be confined to the closet. Exactly, just like your past. Right. Let's see. Oh, wait, that's Japanese. I didn't notice that. What does that say? I have no idea. I speak Korean and German and English, not Japanese. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Let's. Blade X? Should we get Blade X? Let's see in the forum. Uh. We saw it very soon. Well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. If I haven't left enough money, we'll do that. If not, we'll go to bed, right. Day 15. Four parts. I'm ready for a new day. Oh, hello, that psychotic guy in Dino. Hi, Chris! I thought you got very upset because you couldn't fix my gaming console last night. I decided to cheer you up. Here! Uh, you brought me dessert because I didn't fix your console? Yeah, I didn't want to get anyone to get upset on my account. Let's share it. Yeah, let's share it. Just in case, who knows what you what you put in. <laughs> After all, I, I I think I still I, I firmly believe that she might be a psychopath. <laughs> what a great idea! Let's do it. You know she's very suspicious. You're so kind. Yes, I am. <laughs> a cup for you. There you go. Uh, good old fizz. At this point, it's my signature drink. Thank you, and a cup for me. I'll have coffee. Let's try the dessert. Yes. It's wonderful, especially because we shared it. Can you fix something else for me? All right, let's see. Oh my God, that's a fossil, literal fossil. Jeez. The portal? <laughs> what? No. That's my old dial phone. Wow, how old is your dad? Right, he used to call me from this dial phone before he picked me up from school. That's why I'm so attached to it. Fix it for me. Well, it will be a breeze. Let's see. Let's get to it. Yeah, what exactly is broken? 
I don't know. I don't know. It's like a thousand years old. No one knows. Jesus Christ. I don't know. There's something. Okay. <laughs> right, let's see. I have no clue what's wrong. Hey, you! You might be a thousand years old. What's the news about the time machine part? They go on sale tomorrow. And for this purpose, I will must fix this dial phone. You won't fix it. What do you mean? It's an ancient analog device. The microchips I print are not compatible with it. I could replace the damaged part. Have a spare analog phone to act as a donor item? No? You're a genius. Good luck with replacing the broken part. Alright, life finds a way, huh? Light. Signal. I mean, they say it's not compatible, so... Maybe intelligence? I gotta make the phone smarter? You might have to make it smarter, then give it extra... ...sound and connection. That might work, right? Let's put some glue on it. I don't think that's how it works, but... Uh, intelligence! Yeah, that looks pretty suspicious. It looks like a mutated peanut. Try plugging into the phone jack. One second. It's not working. You promised you'd fix it. Look, I'm only sorry, Sheehan, and this gadget is too ancient. But you promised me. Everything's falling apart again. And now you messed up. Whoa, whoa. I was on edge already. I hope you'd fix the phone and I'd feel better. I literally did the best I could. There's no way. There's nothing I can do. What the hell you want me to do? You 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 got me a fossil. Right. It's infuriating. You better calm down. You better stop bossing me around. You broke my phone. Now you're yelling at me. I'm not yelling. I didn't break your phone. I just... I'm really sorry. I'm saying the most horrible things. But I knew it. She's a psychopath. Right. Gosh, why am I so, so stupid? Never get mad. I must never get mad. That's so awful. Right. Your mood swings are quite impressive. <laughs> no, no, that's not like me at all. I swear. I should never ever get mad. Once in a while, I forget to keep my opinions to myself. But if a comfy is bad, very bad. Oh. Are you always trying to avoid? Of course I am. Comfy is bad. That's why I try not to argue so that everyone is happy. It's very important to keep everyone happy. It's, it, that's impossible. Let's see. Really? Why? Those who are unhappy will get mad at me. Just ignore them. You can't ignore them? Wow. <laughs> oh, there we go. We finally fixed this stupid thing. Right. My mood detector is stabilized. Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I was whore to you. Well, off you go. Right, keep yourself together, buddy. Oh, wait, you want you want her to be calm? Okay. So for this dino, you want to go to the left? Not the right? We'll see. Alright. 
Not sure if she's right in the head. Should really get a hold of herself. What the hell are you? Who are you? I said yo! CJ is here! CJ, yay! <laughs> I got a job for you, bro! What? Don't kill the vibe! Fix my airboard! What's an airboard? You kidding me? The thing that for flying in tricks! Never owned one? My family didn't have the money for this kind of accessories. So sad. But whatever. B give it some bling, yes? Oh, we don't have the stickers. Okay. We might add some richness chips if that's possible, but... Do you think I want? You got hip dudes. Let's see. Exactly. I expect the swaggiest design. I don't have swag stickers or anything. God damn it, I should really invest in some stickers, huh? I knew getting those radioactive goldfish was a lot was a failure on my end. The serious matter, Chris. It's still planning to travel to the past. <laughs> I don't need the time machine anymore. What if I say that? Hey! What about all the things you could do with it? Use the imagination! I'll arrange so that all dinosaurs have short paws. <laughs> I'll direct the evolution of dinosaurs onto a different path. A path that I like. As you can see, there is always a reason to build a time machine. Right. Let's see. First this. Then this. Then this. And that's it. Okay. Oh, is that's the only thing that's wrong with it? Okay. I swear to god, if they say it's not, not working again, I, I'm gonna shit my pants. Right. Oh no, I can't get bling chips. It's just stickers. God damn it, I hate this. <laughs> right, I, I, I'll give you some bling, literally. Right. I'll do my best. Right, okay? I'm doing my best. Oh, that's an eraser, right? I, I can't... I, I forgot what that was even used for there, so... Oh. There you go. I don't have hip-hop, but I do have rock. We'll see. Everyone at your service. What the hell is wrong with him? Right, I can finally fly. Your hands are hilarious, but they know what they can do, what they are doing, bro. What's with this game and constantly pushing the narrative, the narrative that these guys have short hands? The T-Rex didn't have short hands in the image. <laughs> what? Nothing. My hands are just fine. Let's see the design. It's kind of lame. Kind of not my style. I told you to look magical dudes. I don't know what dudes are. You don't have a sense of style, bro. All right, the airboat works, so I'll pay you. But less than I would have paid. Oh, come on, you asshole. <laughs> oh my, okay, this guy's rich. Okay, we better stop licking his pants. <laughs> Holy shit. What, is this too little? Yeah, this is worth more. You're probably right. I don't have a clue, bro. Just give me a second. I ran out of dinner on my card. Hi, Dad. I need more dinner on the card. Maybe 800,000? I still need a snack. Cool. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> okay, I'll buzz off. Airball tournament. Here I come. I gotta pick up 20 friends in my car. You have 20 friends? Wow. Yep, yeah, all of them are my bros. We always stick together. Uh, can you have that many real friends? Of course I am! Someone's calling, just a sec. Yeah! Sure, what kind of cash you need? Oh, that's state. No, no, no problemo! Will you help me pick a gift for my dad? No? Didn't you say you are free tomorrow? 
Oh, you made plans. What about Mike? You can't go either? He's the one complaining he's bored. All right. Don't worry about it, because you're all bros. We cover each other's backs. Damn, he might be rich in his pockets, but I guess he's not so rich in his brains up there, huh? Oh, no, you don't have to repay. I don't care. Yeah, see ya. Yo! What do you mean when you say yo? It's a nerdiness test, and you failed it. Some interesting friends you've got. Sure, they're always with me. Right. We, mu we must make him think. <laughs> make him think, yes. Alternatively, I could swing his mood towards swaggering, then see you will spurge and I'll earn more money. You know what? Let's do that. You know what? I'm also a real bros of yours now. Yeah, let's go. More money. Frick yeah. Who cares about relationships if he if he ends up failing, alright? I need to get laid. Right, more and more bros all around the world. Soon I'll have an army of bros. And we'll take over the world. <laughs> Can you give me some dinner over my dream? What's your dream? You build a time machine. No problemo, you're a bro now. Hell yeah, let's go, you actually do it. Woo! Frick yeah. Alright. Enjoy it! Thanks a bunch! Your true friend. This was easy money. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get my gang, and we'll turn them in. Here I come. Stay stylish! Right, that'll be definitely good enough to repay him. Right, who... Are you making easy money off of this guy? Yes, because I have a dream. And plus, like, it's free money. He's got a lot of it, so, like, why not? <laughs> Good job, don't miss your chance. I want to see your travels into the past. So keep up the good work. Huh? Sounds like someone's in the workshop. Oh, it's you. Greetings, citizen. Okay, I thought for a second that it was the Ankylosaurus, right? This will be our means of communication while you're working undercover. Is this a phone? It's a special service phone. It looks kind of bleak. It's just means of communication, it doesn't need decorations. I know what I'll do with it. Let's give it some character. What? Well, well, well. Let's go. Let's decorate it to my liking. Decorate a special service phone? Leo, the one you'll use in the mob's hideout? You really are crazy. <laughs> right. Well then. Uh. You know when you when you you are being an imposter. You know what you have to do. I'll draw myself the Among Us Kezu. <laughs> right, that way, when they say that I'm sus, I can just show them the phone case and say that, Oh yeah, I am sus. Look at that. I have a little Kezu on my thing. Obviously, I'm sus. Right. Let's go. There we go. There you go. I don't have more stickers. We need to buy the stickers with the money he's gonna give me. Right. What have you done to the service phone, civilian? I gave it some style. <laughs> what did you draw? Uh, a symbol of the mafia faction. <laughs> yeah, the red kazoo. Yep, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, well done. It will help you to blend in. Yep. Hey, it's you! Hey, genius! I just came to say hi! Uh-oh, a cop. Good evening! Why so nervous, lad? Are you involved in something illegal? No, absolutely not! Wait a second, are you born? No? I recall your mom bringing you to the police station whenever you stirred up trouble. <laughs> And then she passed away. Oh. So what are you doing now, Bon? Nothing. Get lost. <laughs> uh, hey, Marcus, why don't you hire him? Hey, genius. Shut your snout. Oh, you don't want to be hired? Hmm, I mean, it's a good idea. I remember Bon being a feisty fellow. We need boys like this in the police station. They won't hire me because of my criminal record. Believe me, I tried. Stop trying to arrange my life for me. This is your chance, Bon. Think about it. 
Maybe this time it might be good to make him aggressive. There's nothing to think about. I'm not wanted there. Well, I have an idea. He'll help us on this convert, convert mission against the Bloody Leaf Gang. What mission are you talking about, cop? I'll give him credit in the report. It'll be an excellent reason for the department to hire him. It's not a bad idea. Hey, what are you conspiring about, stupidos? I don't do business with cops. Eh, you can pursue justice, you know. What do you know about justice, genius? You weren't told that you were dumb throughout school. You were blamed for every violation of order. Don't talk to me about justice. Get lost. Listen, Bond, the place is really... And you get lost too, cop. Can't lure me with your promises. I'll never set foot in here again. Oh, wow. We failed to recruit him. We'll just have to proceed without him. No! Really? I thought I, we had to make him wary. Right. Only one day left till you infiltrate the mob. I'll have to sort out some administrative issues. See you tomorrow. Well, I must have said something wrong. It's a shame. Getting late. Right. But hey, we got money, and the money's all that matters. Right. So, give me that lamp screen. There we go. Looks kind of like my stream deck. Not gonna lie. My dad had a TV like that. Who was your dad? A T-Rex? Hey, how do I delete messages here? This is interesting. <laughs> go do your homework. Didn't all T-Rexes go extinct? That's what he did. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's see. Dino Boss. Right. Let's see. Welcome sign. What is the welcome sign? It doesn't actually bring in more guests, does it? Right. Let's relax him. I think that's what the Allosaur likes. Right. Design for luxury. Okay, so what about the forum? Uh, okay, no more pots for now, so we might as well spurge. Right. Let's get... Let's see. What happens if I get a comfy bed and an uber bed? Pretty curious. Can I change my mattress? No. Uh, let's see. Let's get the Blade X drink. Right. That's the monster energy for dinosaurs. Yes. Right. Trust is gonna like this. A drink for an Allosaur. Right. Let's go grab the luxury design set. Or I might be able to get a really cool smartphone frame. Ah, uh, we'll do that. We need, we need all the stickers we can get. That's definitely something that I realized. The luxury one should be the one for the other dinosaur, the brown one. Not so sure what the brown one is. It kind of looks like the Rockstar dinosaur. Right. But for now, we will have to go to bed. It's time to inf infiltrate the dinosaur gang. The club tails. I should call Justin and tell him tomorrow I'm going to the Bloody Leaf hideout. Why don't you just tell him yourself? <laughs> this number you've reached is not available. What? Justin was always available. But the Bloody Leaf already gotten to him. Mop must have learned that I'm going to infiltrate them. They're using the, my best friend to black blackmail me. So they decided to use my friend to black... So they decided to use my friend to blackmail me. He must do something immediately. Oh, come on. Hey, Chris. Why are you so frightened? Nothing. 
Really? Well, okay. Oh my god, what the hell is this thing? I don't think I can, I, I, I seriously don't think I can help you with that. Right. Well, it's an ancient piece of tech. What is this? I, I don't even know what this is, and even I, I'm 20 years old. Right. The girls in my class snatched my electrical keyboard and threw it into the toilet. Jesus freaking Christ. <laughs> you said nothing? Wow, she needs to let out some rage, huh? They're just joking around. These jokes don't sound very funny. So she's a bully who's also a psychopath. That's a recipe for the disaster. <laughs> well then. Oh, maybe you should stand up to them. So it seems like we right is the best, huh? Probably didn't mean any harm. I highly doubt that. Maybe they did mean harm. What do I do now? Let them learn the hot way. Let's go. Let's see. I want to see her angry. Come on, get her fired up. Right, how would I do that? There's something that would make them think twice the next time they want to joke around with you. Not so sure about this. Almost forgot, I bought you this item again. Apology for what I did yesterday. I could treat you to a beverage. Let's share the desert. I mean, not desert, dessert. <laughs> Scorched earth right here, right. I wish I knew what effect different beverages have on our mood. Right, so maybe energy drink. I mean, university students always like energy drinks, right? That's a recipe for success in universities, you know? Right. Wow! What's this? It's called Blade X. It's a potent energy drink. I took one sip and I'm ready to take on the world. That's the spirit. And a cup for me. Let's take that as well. It kind of, it's, it's purple. It's energy drink. So it has to be the grape flavored energy drink. In fact, did you know that in South Korea, we have a brand, like, it's it's not Monster Energy, there's a different brand, I think it was called Hot Six, and they recently re released, like, the, I, I, I'm not sponsored, by the way, why, why, who the hell would sponsor me in their right minds, but, <laughs> but, yeah, they, 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 re they recently released a grape-flavored energy drink, I shit you not, that's the two best things in life combined, outside of dinosaurs, like, of, of course. Like, energy drinks and grape soda. How the hell could I say no to that? <laughs> so, yeah, I've been drinking this pretty much every day. That's amazing. Right. So, let's see what this does. I'm actually surprised that th that thing even fit in the toilet. And it was a possibility, so I didn't turn it on. So it shouldn't have shortened out. It wouldn't have hurt to wipe the water off. Right. Down coming out of it? I have to confess, it did turn on before it dried completely. I was very worried. There's still sound. But the backlighting isn't working. Okay, can I comfort you? Okay, that's not what we want. Ooh. Okay, she's still, still self-confident. Okay, please hug me. <laughs> uh, I hope she doesn't comment on my paws to short from hug. Your paws are... the worm. No one's ever said that to me before. And here I said it. Right. Will you play it? Let's see. Happily. Don't be too hard on me though, I'm just an amateur. Right, uh, let's see. Investigation complete. Okay, let's see what you can do. Hey Chris? Would you happen to know anything about the previous owner of the shop? What is it that you want to know? What was he like? Hmm... Wait, is he- Is that your dad? <laughs> Literally, I have no idea. I'm just curious about the history of local businesses. That's all. Hmm... He- Didn't the guys that say that he did have a knack for old things? You do know that I'm talking to you to the mob hideout tomorrow, right? Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to see. I want to see tough dinosaurs. Everyone's so touchy-feely around here. Our circuits are clogging up with syrup. Alright, so is this fixed? 
Yes. Okay, this is fixed. Okay. There's no way we cannot fix this. This is easy. Easy, right? Lightning isn't working. Okay. Light. Okay. The game's going easy on me because I failed the last couple ones disastrously. So, up to the point where they said I should just be a de demolisher than an actual maker. So, and no, we do T-Rex tech support here. Right. On second hand, maybe not. That, that kind of sucks. How is this 92%? Really? I must be going crazy. That that's like seventy, right? Oh, and I don't I don't get to decorate it. God damn it! It works! Oh, there we go. It shines so pretty! Thank you! And the job is done very neatly. Here's your payment! Right, let's see if she's got some cash. Oh, yes, she's rich. Fairly rich. But I should learn to protect myself! It really woke up my, woke up my fighting spirit. Thank you! Talking to you made me believe in myself. Right, yep, believe in yourself. There you go. Don't overdo it. I can't describe how grateful I am. Right. Oh, don't give me a kiss. <laughs> oh, come on. I didn't even know dinosaurs were capable of doing such complex lip movements. Right. How could I? How oh, I didn't do it? Go away. Right. Please don't get any ideas. It's fine. Right. Hey, Mia. Just a heads up. The shop will be closed for the next few days. Why? What's wrong? I'm going on a special mission. I can't disclose the details. I hope it's not dangerous. I'll be facing death every day! Don't go there! It's not a matter of choice, baby. It's my duty. Talk like a tough cop from a movie. <laughs> Give me your number, please! No! Please! No! You can't call me at the place where I'll be. I won't be calling. I just want the number. Just in case. Alright. Here it is. Oh, okay. I, I can't refuse. Okay. Need to get going. Hope to see you soon. Uh, hope not. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Pfft, she'll keep calling me at, this hi at the hideout. I have to say, I'm glad I'm helping her regain felt faith in herself. She should learn to protect herself. And not to suppress feelings in the hopes of avoiding conflict forever. Wow, this T-Rex really talks to himself a lot, doesn't he? Yo, yo, yo! Oh, yeah, let's go. You're not going to believe what happened! I had another fight with my dad because I dropped out of school. So he cut me off my allowance! Ah, oh, shit, no. And you know my birthday's coming up. This means no pool party. I told my bros that the party will be modest. As it turned out, they're all busy on that day. Uh, well, let's see. That is very long. I will not concern. Right. It's part of life. It's true, but it's unfair. What do I do on my birthday now? Uh, try sucking it up. Let's go. <laughs> more riches, more money. Oh yeah, it's a good idea, bro. Right. Then all my bros will come to the body. Should keep pushing him towards a swaggering mood. Then he'll give me a shitload of cash. Let's go. <laughs> right. Here's my turbo wearboard. It's shortened out, but I have an older model right here. Can use it for spare parts. Oh, we done. All right, let's go. Who cares if he's bad as bad or not? Yeah, you're my genuine brother. I trust you as I trust myself. Let's go. The rich Brad is here again? He is. I'm trying to get. No, I don't want that. Yes, I need all the money. Yes, the time machine ain't gonna wait. Right, shouldn't all the dinosaurs pause? Do, do it, go to the past, I want to see it. Right. Let's see, so what do I need to do? So you, this is the modern one. That's the fossil, right? Or I'm actually confused. Are you the fossil or are you the fossil? What? 
I'm actually not so sure. Actually, they, they actually look the same. They might. Let's also throw these away. Yes, I keep forgetting that. Okay, A plus. How is that not an S? Pretty much everything I could. Okay, super duper A board is ready. Kudos to you. Let me check if everything is top notch. <clears throat> Yes, it really works! Even though that cut, cut off my allowance, I won't stink on cash for you. Let's go! Hell yeah! <laughs> Enjoy it! Add some more! Money's no object! Here's some more! Frick yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> okay, I, I kind of feel kind of bad for him. But who cares? <laughs> CJ wouldn't mind a drink. Okay, I can see you've got the machine. Pour me something. Hmm. Right direction. Get him energized! Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> How come you have Blade X? It's so dope! Blade, Blade X helped me to stay up clubbing all night long. DJ gives you kudos for the kid for the drink, bro. Did you ask the money? <laughs> I'll do anything! Okay, I, this time, like, you are pretty stupid, aren't you? I'll do it! I'll take it, though! <laughs> Hell yeah! Right. I'll go and try to scrape together some money for your birthday party. I don't want my friends to dump me, so I need the money. I'll try to squeeze some cash from my dad, or borrow it from him. Hehe. <laughs> go for it! Yeah! <laughs> Third thing! Right, I'll buzz off. Damn, I fleeced him nicely. These knaves dotty boys are a blessing, haha. <laughs> right. Good evening, citizen! Are you ready to go to the Bloody Leaf hideout? The Bloody Leaf? That's right, they kidnapped Justin! I got caught off and forgot about him. I forgot him too. He's probably not important. Eh. <laughs> Who's Justin that's been kidnapped? He's my friend. We must do something now. I could ransom him? No. He's not worth that much. <laughs> no time to explain. Why are you so sure that the bloody leaf kidnapped your friend? Because. Look. I'm dialing his number and... See, he's not picking up. Hi, Chris. Oh. Well, then. Not picking up, you say? Hey, Chris, say something. Ah. Uh, you're just breathing into the phone. It's kind of creepy, dude. Hi, Justin. Hallelujah, you've spoken. I couldn't reach you by phone. I was in the country. There's no signal. This invited me for a bike ride through the wilderness. Can you believe it? It's a real biker date. Wow, why didn't you tell me? He told you already. Okay. I'm so happy for me too. High speed, dust in your face, so dope. I mean, you are of a loss of rap, rap, for all. You're such an alarmist, citizen. Okay, I've got to go. Here's a cop making fun of me. Hee <laughs> hee, see ya. Did I call the SWAT team with the helicopter? Keep it for now. Easy, easy, mate. Here we have a convert mission, not a shootout. You watch too many action thrillers. Should we maybe scrap the mission? Last night I finally found a time to see my daughter perform in a school play. I really enjoyed it. Screw the blood leaf, what you say? Whoa, whoa, officer, you promised me a time machine part. I really want to break, take a break from all of this. Hmm, you need to have it more focused. Right. Just gonna sit down and watch? Yeah, let's have him more focused. You're right, you're right! We should finish him once and for all. Perfect. Right, but it's been such a long time since I spent time with my family. I want to go on a vacation. <laughs> I'll pay for your vacation! Nah. <laughs> Can't rest while the mart runs the city, huh? Hmm, it wouldn't be right to sit back while the bloodied leaf is taking over the city. The finishing touches a beverage. Would you like to drink something? Why not? 
Citizen. Grab that. Just what he likes. Oh, it's actually... Oh, he actually relaxes when he drinks energy drinks. That's in interesting. Well, it eggs. That's what my son drinks. Oh, yeah, that's because he's got family. I wish I could be at home, my boy, now. Hey, citizen, you did a good job setting me straight just now. I was starting to lose it. Might be getting old. You're going strong. You're right. You can still shake things up. Yo, hey, geniuses. Bon? Oh, curious. I just thought I don't have a decent job at the moment. Nightclub replaced bouncers with security robots. And you, Chris, told me once that I should I should search for, my, for myself. So here I am. But you couldn't boss me around. Yeah, I wasn't trying to. <laughs> what? Well, what are you laughing at, cop? A bunch of snout. Fun. I'm laughing because I like you. You have a bright future ahead of you. Yeah, let's go. Make him chill again. For real? You're not going to say I'm good for nothing? Let's put it this way. With an expertise... Ex wait, what What would you mean expertise? Experience, Luffer. It literally says experience in the text right here. You must be stupid. Like, stupid me. Stupid me. Stupid me. Right, with an experienced mentor, you could do a lot of good work around here. You have the potential to become a first great law enforcer. I'll guard your wild energy onto a constructive course. Yes, it will be my personal endeavor. Yeah, let's go, cheat code. Get him all the way up there. This is so cool. I'll show him. But first, learn to ex ex exercise patience and analyze the situation. Will do, Mr. Trust. I'm coming with you to the bloody leaf hideout. Remember to use your brains. Easy peasy. I've done it before. Hope so. You, Bun, come for me for a briefing. And you, Chris, be ready. Tonight we're going in the field. My cozy room! When will I see you again? I'm going on a dangerous mission to the Bloody Leaf hideout. The ball's in my court. Wish me luck. Right. Before that, let's go. Smartphone frame. They say that, you know... If you're in a gang, gangs have lots and loads of money, so they can probably afford a good smartphones. If I if I'm the only one with a shitty phone, that's gonna be sus. Right there, now the phone looks perfect, just like a real businessman. Right, Dino Boss. Hmm, got loads of that. Or we could get a shit ton of poster. Let's get a brave Dave David Dowie poster. Okay. Right. Limited edition. Only cost ten bucks more than a regular one, though. I guess David Bowie wasn't a much of a star here, huh? Alright. David Bowie? No, it's David Dowie. Okay. Is my favorite singer. Okay, what else do we have? That's it? Okay. Rub anything clean. I mean, you know what? Let's get the rest. Why not? Let's upgrade our, our thing. We might as well. Hello! It's no longer hell on earth. <laughs> right. See, let's grab a holographic sign. Let's go. Thank you, Mr. Rich Boy. Your efforts shall not go in vain. An excellent choice. Right. What now? Meet your lamp? Oh my god. We all celebrate Salvation Day, the day the asteroid missed our planet and all dinosaurs survive. Hooray. Right. Just for good luck that we'll be able to survive tomorrow too. Goes for all of us, both people that are watching here and the people that are in the game right now. 
Or the dinosaurs in the game, I suppose. Well, what else can we buy? Nothing, right. No, well, I guess it's better to have some spare change, eh? Right, let's see. Nothing in the forum. Another scandal involving Zortek! Zortek CEO is indeed a T-Rex. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, moreover, this anonymous source claims that the CEO's son, aka CJ, is adopted. T-Rexes cannot have offspring anymore since they cannot find a mate. Zortek CEO refuses to compute comment on this claim. Wait, CJ? Wait, is that guy also a T-Rex? That doesn't make any sense. What? He didn't look like one. Ooh, that does make sense. Maybe I am Zortek, huh? Who knows? So is Roy and not me from the future? Is he just, is he, is he not a Giganotosaurus, but a really buffed up version of myself? Oh wow, look at his lamp, it's so bright. All right, so there it is, uh, day 17. So I'm assuming it goes up all the way up to day 20. So, uh, but for today, I think that is going to be it. Human dinosaurs, so... If you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, may the Jurassic Spirit with you. Bye-bye, uh, and hello to you, Ankylosaur. But yeah, bye-bye to you guys on the other side of the screen.